I guess you just got to restart your computer sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but we're back. You say the dark, <laughs> the dark side just took over. <laughs> Guys, welcome back in. I don't know what was going on. I'm going to be honest. I've been messing with my electricity in this room because I'm trying to finally fix this lamp up here. And so I think because I turned it off, I don't know what happened, but it's annoyed at me for whatever reason. But we're back. Guys, welcome back in. I saw a couple resubs and I saw Way Stoner and also Mike Mick Mick. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in Tia as well. Siva with the reset for 21 months in a row. Welcome back in. Damn it, I can hear her again. j -Rod, get out of here. I'm sorry I missed so many people before. If you said hi, welcome back in. I see Eddie was here, Youngblood, Raj, Bighorn, Morpheus. This just further, like, every time I think I'm moving away from the cast a shit show name, it comes back full force in some manner. Like, I can never just have a flawless stream. It will never happen. Unexempt. And you know what? I don't want it to happen either. I really don't. Unexempt, welcome back in. Constellation, welcome back in as well. Constellation, you said some things never change. Are you talking about the intro? DARPA, welcome back in. What happened to Jolene? Jolene was just because we were doing a second stream on the same day. I couldn't play Country Road with a little country, country something, something, dark side. Uh, I couldn't play Country Roads twice in the same day. So maybe I'll mix it up. If you guys like Jolene, then I can do it. I can do maybe back and forth. Gun, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I also see I eat cake with the resub for 13 months in a row and Bobby Nines with the resub for eight months in a row as well. Thank you so much. And I also see macaroni, macaroni with 10 months. Hello. Why is Ravenclaw? Welcome back in. Seventh Witcher. I see Pilot, Orion, Destined, London, Bighorn, Shadows here too. I think I saw a Spazzy earlier, T Sub, Jedi, Dekion. Two streams yesterday and today, one quick stream. We actually are. Are having two streams today and yesterday you're right holy cow four streams in one weekend what's going on lufo welcome back into young justice thank you and i'm glad that you guys can finally hear me again i am so ready for this game i i just i don't think maybe i expressed just how excited i am for this although i do want to like premise with it is not my first playthrough so it is technically my second playthrough that being said I played this for the first time four years ago and if you guys saw like with my last of us and stuff like that if I played a game pretty much four years ago I don't remember anything about it but I'm all ready I got my my one like Star Wars shirt so I'm ready to go I think I probably wore this shirt back during my first playthrough three years ago as well that's how long I've like kept this shirt on um yes Billy we got our voice back we did <laughs> and Bighorn thank you so much for the tier one sub I'm so glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community thank you yeah dude this, this shirt the shirt is like sick i really like it i think i got it from urban outfitters a long time ago maybe four years ago it was a while ago i also changed the lighting i wanted it to be more reflective of what i believe my lightsaber would be uh, let's be honest guys no matter how much i try to play nice my evil side always comes out so i probably would be uh, on the dark side. I have a feeling. Also, they have cookies, so you can't fight it, you know? King, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. And Anon with the gifted sub to Lutha. Lufa. <laughs> Lutha. Lufa. And also Bear with the gifted. You just gifted a goldfish brain. How is there a different goldfish brain? <laughs> Did you just gift a goldfish and this one's goldfish brain? I think the dark side's way more fun. I mean, who wants rules, you know? Just go. Well, okay, hold on. We need to figure out my like Sith story. Like, how did I end up going to the dark side? Was it Ginger that corrupted me? Is it the fact that I have a serial killer always in the background of my stream as an indication I would go Sith? Who knows? Do you celebrate May 4th? You know, I like I kind of and I kind of don't. But now that I realize it will be playing a Star Wars game for May 4th, which is really awesome. And that's actually when my second when my baby niece is supposed to be born is on the fifth but i'm hoping she comes early so that would be so cool that her birthday would be may 4th you know aries thank you so much for the 100 bits and guys can we get a quick happy birthday to aries it is aries birthday aries has been in the community for a couple months now uh came over from the youtube side of things and it has just been an amazing addition to the community so please give a big happy birthday to aries i also see incredible richie thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row and welcome back in so continuing my gift sub let's go incredible thank you i'm so glad you're enjoying the channel and community still um and the games i mean you guys just in the course of like 
what one month we've seen witcher we're seeing resident evil and now we're doing a little souls combat with some jedi survivors so i hope you guys enjoy this game um this one was one of my favorite that i remember from like earlier on in my beginning streaming days so i'm excited to play this in preparation for the sequel because it is a direct sequel right and that's the thing is i want to make sure that i fully enjoy the story in the next one and i thought that if i left this one untouched i just wouldn't remember as much i know a recap could work but that's just not my way. I can't just look up a YouTube video on the recap, you know? Yamato, welcome back in as well. Yes, okay, so it is Constellations. And Falky with the Risa for nine months in a row. Falky, welcome back in. And I am just so happy that you found this community, truly. And Ruthless with the Risa for two months in a row. I'm happy, happy birthday, happy I know birthday I need to take it off. You have a happy, happy birthday. I know, I need to take it off. I still have two. I <laughs> Ashen one. I still have Hearest both of them. Thou my voice still? I do still. Sharpie, welcome back in. That's how behind I am on these sound alerts. We need to, oh my gosh. You know what sound alert we need to add? I hate sand. It's chorus and it's, I don't even quote it the right way. What does he say? It is I hate sand though, but I forget exactly like the following words that he says. Uh, curse, no, the other curse, welcome back in too. I just started a new game in Fallen Order 2 and I played it when it came out, but never beat it. So I know I beat it and I think... I want to say, and there's really not, like, I'm not kidding when I said that this was a game I played such a long time ago that I would maybe... Ashen one. Hear thou, thou my, my voice still? still? I would say that maybe five people here in the stream right now saw that playthrough. I think, because it's not on the archive channel, and I'm pretty sure most of those people aren't here anymore. This was back when, I think when I streamed it, um, it was like maybe to 50 people like maybe it was to 50 60 people and it is where i broke a controller because i was a little bit more ragey back then so there's a long history here <laughs> it's not in the archives yeah so um vert does the archive stuff and vert came in right i think i think vert entered the stream like right before this happened but we weren't downloading the vods so the vods were lost yes the vods are lost <laughs> old school casta lufa welcome back in I broke my controller, proceeded to go to Target to pick up another controller, and I mean, again, I talked to you guys about this before, the craziest part about all of this is the fact that I blitzed through Target not looking at anything other than a controller. And speaking of controllers, guys, we officially have a new Xbox controller on the way, and Anon, whoever Anon was, thank you so much. I am finally retiring this Xbox controller after four years. This was my first controller I got when I started streaming. It's nothing crazy. I ended up just going with like a standard, I would say kind of like a standard controller, no RGB or anything. It's just that other controller that I was looking at, it's not, it's, I don't, it said Q1. Where are we? It's past Q1. I'm not quite sure. I don't know when it will come out. But yes, we need to mount the old controller. We do. Auntie, welcome back in, by the way. Dekion. That controller had a good life. We will start using it for a little bit of this. We will. But this bad boy, it's probably really gross at this point. But like none of the, you can't see any of the buttons anymore. Just completely gone. It's gone. No RGB. Oh, but you call yourself a gamer. What? <laughs> Mr. Welcome back in. The way that life can suck, welcome back in too. Ah, uh, I gotta put the old controller in the shadow box or something. We get a freaking shadow box for my controller. Chum, thank you for the hydrate. And also Ruthless with the Ru- Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, I already said, I already said Ruthless. Okay, Howie with the 100 bits, taps. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Howie, thank you so much. And guys, thank you for a hype train. Truly. Spazzy, other news articles said Q2 or Q3. So, I mean, at least I have something in the meantime. But yeah, it is. This controller has been old faithful. Okay. It has seen the best of times. It has seen the worst of times. It has probably had more energy drinks spilled on it than my chair has at this point in time. Marcio and also Freaks. Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in as well. Wrongful Carrot, welcome back into my 360. Oh, hold on, I'm just gonna have to scroll down and catch up. 
Oh, past the happy birthdays. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. J-Rod, I saw a hillbilly. Welcome back in. I also see Brennan's here. Sonic's here. Doc, hello, Doc. Welcome back in. Glide Path, Sangro. Wait, Sangro. Hello, Dead Frogger. I'm always going to miss your name. Man versus Machine, unexempt again. I'm playing along with you uh, finishing my first playthrough. No way. Wait, when did you start it? Did you just start it? Are you ahead at least? You're not going to have spoilers, right? I'd imagine you're not going to have spoilers. NG, welcome back in too. I need your updated list on what you're buying from Trader Joe's. I've been out of the Trader Joe's scene, dude. I don't know what's I don't know what to recommend anymore. I've been doing meal preps. I meal prepped like <laughs> I have this meal prep for the whole week now, and so I'm trying to stick to it. I'm really trying to limit my Taco Bell to once every two weeks. Like once every two weeks at the most. J1997. Uh, Guys, thanks for the follow and welcome to the channel and community. Cyrus with the gifted sub to the channel and community. And Jess. Jess with the resub for five months in a row. Welcome back in. Anon with the gifted sub to Mello. You're becoming a meal prepper. I used to be a meal prepper hardcore when I was like really into fitness and everything. And I realized that maybe my lack of motivation could be surrounded by the fact that I don't eat extremely healthy. Like there's a lot of times that I just I'm not really hungry in the morning like I used to be. So I'm trying to get back to making myself eat three meals a day. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to fix myself nutritionally and then I'll go back to the gym. Hopefully like that will kind of relate to it as well it's for me it's i can tell you right now every person's different but i will say that like nutrition's probably 70 percent of the battle for me and working out is like 30 percent like i can get back into it and also i still feel like i have that latent muscle memory from when i was very active in it so i have a feeling that i can kind of pick it back up but Nezzy, whoa, Nezzy, welcome back in too. I have not seen you in so long. No spoilers, but you are watching along. Eating healthy is extremely important. And Birdie, welcome back in. I also see Jack Roy. Welcome back in too. I would never imagine you breaking a controller just by looking at me. I used to be a lot more ragey. I kind of chalk it up to being like younger and then also not really being, I wouldn't say like not being myself, but I think at the time it's really easy when you start to stream to think that you like loud does not equal funny. Neither does like ragey, but I did start souls games so i think it was because i started with playing like dark souls games and it brings out the worst in you it really brings out the worst in you liquor that liquor thank you so much for the resub for three months in a row and welcome back in and drugs drugs as well for 13 months over the i almost said over the hill drug over the year thank you so much for over a year of continual support and a tier three as well a max with the gifted sub fod thank you for the follow welcome in aj welcome back in mellow how are you doing are you gonna be playing the jedi game by the way cobra is welcome back in my morning has been fantastic i don't even want to tell you guys why my morning was so good <laughs> this is this really indicates just how much i don't i don't know if i would say like I, I wouldn't i would never say that like i don't have a life or anything but the things that i appreciate are very representative of where I'm at in my life. I had a great morning because I got to use my Dyson vacuum for the first time. I think I cleaned my entire house in 30 minutes with that vacuum. It was a game changer. And I was so like, it made my morning. A vacuum made my morning. <laughs> My other, I told you guys this yesterday, my other vacuum broke this past week. And so I finally was like, you know what? I always like, I'm a buy once, cry once kind of person. I've kind of changed into that way. Obviously, when you first start out, you kind of got to like Ikea is your friend. Walmart, like I still love Walmart, to be fair. I always love to find a good deal, right? But... I said enough is enough and I went for it. I splurged a little bit on the Dyson, but it was 100% worth it. Like 100% worth it and it made my day. So the fact that I'm sitting here, I was listening to Christmas music, you already know, vacuuming my house. Ginger didn't even, but Ginger wasn't bothered by this vacuum. This vacuum is so quiet, she wasn't even bothered. Did you say sponsored? <laughs> Aries target yes Lindsley wait Lindsley thank you so much for the tier one sub by the way I'm so glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community um I know you you popped in from RE4 so I'm glad to see you're interested in other games as well and just the channel so thank you the deaf cat confirmed oh no is this more an indication that Ginger is aging and at this point she's lost her sense of hearing Dyson vacuum pays itself off. Definitely worth it. Guys, the entire canister was filled with cat hair. The entire canister. 
the vacuum for the wind Knox, welcome back in gas she thinks it's a vacuum or the wind silent i saw there goes the hoover sponsorship you guys know no good gelato welcome back in too thank you and yes we finished ari4 yesterday so if you guys are popping in this is day one if you're new here i see rod thank you for the follow as well we do a little bit of a 30 minute intro just kind of catching up um and llamas thank you so much for nine months of continual support also I met my new neighbor. I told you guys how my neighbor moved out. So I met my new neighbor and she's really cool. She has two cats and one of them um, is blind. Like her cat, they like one of her eyes, it didn't have an eye when it was born. And then the other one, I guess, lost its sense of sight over the first year. But it you cannot tell at all, I guess, because they use their whiskers to sense. So it was the cool like she was the coolest cat. And then it's like her sister helps her get around and everything. And so they use this cute little buddy system. Um, but so I met my neighbor and it was awesome. She's a cat lady. I'm a cat lady. So I think we just became best friends. It was like that moment in Step Brothers when you're like, wait, did we just become best friends? <laughs> cats react to sounds too yeah i know she said that when she first moved in the cat had to get it like adjusted to the house so there's a few times where she showed me videos where the cat just like rams into the wall and you don't want to laugh but you can't help but laugh and you're like no i i'm an asshole uh Fness, welcome back into the cat ladies reunite well if you guys remember my previous neighbor she loved dogs and she always asked me to watch her dog. And I do like dogs. It's kind of like babies, right? Like, I think I'll like my dog. I don't really love other people's dogs. I don't, I know that sounds mean. I just threw him through and more of a cat person, but that's because I grew up with cats. Um, Uncle, thank you so much for the follow and welcome in. Johnny Guitar, welcome back in. And thank you so much for it. The 21 months of continual support. I also think that I associate like I used to have, I'm sure we all have this, but you know, when you go to a friend's house when you're younger, and their parents yelling at them so all you do is sit on your couch like sit on their couch and just pet their dog or their animal because you're sitting there awkward as they're yelling at each other and so i feel like i just have this negative association with dogs i just would sit there like okay do you want me to leave like i can leave and they're like no you're fine mom i don't <laughs> Like, no, <laughs> Christian, welcome back into Unlucky I See Kevin, Legend Herself, uh, Janji, Janji, welcome back in as well. D Mark, welcome in. All right, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I think that's pretty much I was going to pretty much everything I was going to update you guys on. D Mike, I see too. It's that awkward moment where all you have to do is pet their dog. Truly. <laughs> Diesel drinking duck. Welcome back into Katie. Welcome in. Hearing someone yell at your friend in Creole is an experience. Oh, that's like um different, but my you guys maybe if you've seen the archive channels, my best friend actually has popped on the stream a few times. I think only three times. Um, but she's Vietnamese and whenever I'd listen to her mom and her talk, it just I didn't know if it was love or they were upset each other. I didn't know. Quali. Quali, thank you so much for the raid and welcome in. Holy cow. I feel like I haven't seen you since Fable. When you played Fable, which by the way, did you ever finish that? Raisin Toast, welcome in. Pretending I wasn't already lurking here. <laughs> Guys, please go check out Quali. I had the pleasure of checking out her stream, not only because a lot of you guys have recommended her, but she was playing Fable 1 uh, during, you were doing this amazing, what was it? It was your year anniversary, right? She was doing like back-to-back -back streams. Um, was it 72 hours or something? But either way, seriously, Quali. Wait, Vert, what did that just do? What did that just do? Wait, Vert? But yes, please go check out Quali. She's a variety streamer, truly amazing. She's Australian. So I'm kind of trying to be like, hey, let me come visit you. I'd love to come see you. Even though you always say that there's nothing, like you don't get the allure of wanting or people wanting to visit like Australia. And I'm over here like, what? That's the coolest. That's like the dream destination for me. But yes, guys, if you are new here, welcome in. My name is Casta. Um, I'm a variety streamer. We're just about to start my second, but my first playthrough was four years ago of Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I just got off playing 200 hours of Witcher Plus, and then I did an RE4 playthrough as well. So you'll see just about anything here. I see Milk, Son, Orange, Double Helix. Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome to 
the channel and community. And again, if you're in my channel right now, please go check out Quali. I promise you guys will love her. She is just honestly my short experience with you i feel like we have so many similarities and then we're also different in the best ways so please go check her out stanley and she's just so nice you were so nice when i stopped by toucan thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in as well yes we can all relate to kids with parents yelling how we we jamie welcome back in alert welcome back in i am just starting my intro so i always like to catch up and say hi to everybody for at least the 30 minutes of my intro and then we typically get started on the game australia has spiders the size of me now are you talking about those are different than camel spiders though right the camel spiders are somewhere else right pat thank you so much for the reset for five months in a row too i see ape battle d guys thank you for the follows and welcome in shells fallen order is i think it is four years i think it's just about three and a half almost four years mm-hmm tdk i see smooth smooth scoom scoom welcome back into i heard australian spiders have learned how to build boats with webs no what was that thing uh quali i heard we were bringing up spiders one time and somebody said that you had that cr like you just casually got rid of one of these terrifying spiders what are they called there was one inside of your house see like i freak out at a wolf spider and wolf spiders are not that large like they're really not that big of a deal but this wolf spider planted right above my like entrance to my house so he was just waiting to jump on me yes yes the huntsman is that what it's called the huntsman spider no i don't i do not do spiders weirdly enough i'm not opposed to snakes but spiders, absolutely not. Yeah, they have huntsman spiders and they're huge. What would you say is the average size? Is it like bigger than my face? How did you even get rid of it? How do you get rid of a spider that large without killing it? Did you catch it under a Tupperware? <laughs> it's like, I'm imagining you trying to have like this clear bowl and like smacking it against the wall. Huntsmans are the nice ones. Ah, the shotgun. I would be pulling out the shotgun. You sure as hell know it. Marvelo, welcome in and thank you for the follow as well. And Kam wait, uh, Kamasama, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Andre as well. And Sponge with the gifted sub to Jedi. Does that say Jedi Ginger? <laughs> noxious marvelo guys thank you for the follows and anybody that's come in from the raid um i seriously am trying to like figure out how we can play games together quali because i would really love if you like dbd if you want to play demonologist i'm really into demonologist right now so i'd love to play games with you sometime and tarantulas welcome into get off my property it's private my thing with creatures like spiders is it's like look if you're living in my house rent free we're gonna have a problem my cat for example she gives me cuddles so there's still a transactional benefit <laughs> to be had here the spider he's not paying rent he's just living there to scare me nope he's gotta go he's gotta go you want to cuddle with spiders yeah <laughs> Of course, you don't. Uh, also, I see I'm uh, and Gimme. Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. Ariana, welcome in as well. Of course, yes. The spider cuddles, yes. If you play Demonologist with Quali, get ready for screams. Do you play horror games? I think I saw, were you doing Alien Isolation one time or during that um, stream marathon? The stream marathon. And London, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Ariana as well. Mr. Frosty, thank you for the follow. Um, and yeah, a little bit about myself. I know I kind of was more like, oh, I'm a variety streamer, but more about me personally. I'm obsessed with Taco Bell. I have a serious addiction to Gwent from Witcher. Fable is probably my all-time favorite game that might have just been usurped by Witcher 3. But other than that, I like cats again taco bell the gym and i used to like donuts but i kind of have to take that out of my bio now because i'm not really a donut lover anymore uh spider-man is living it here rent free exactly quali loves horror games i feel like there's a little bit of sarcasm there there's got to be a little bit of sarcasm philly gotta go see ya all right philly have a good one thank you so much for hanging around and i hope to see you tomorrow i haven't put up the schedule yet but you guys know as as always i'll be live tomorrow at 4 p.m eastern but i will be posting the schedule after today's stream I think I am having a breakup with donuts. This is a bad day. My start was with donuts. Spiders are getting rid of some of the other bugs. They have a use. A hundred percent. I completely, that's the way that I feel about bees as well. Like bees and everything. I understand they have a purpose. 
just not in my house. They can have a purpose anywhere else, just not in my house. Please, no. There was one time I did have this little like harmless shower spider. He would just sit in the corner of the shower and he was kind of like the my pervert spider, but he would just sit in the corner and then I'm pretty sure like he was there for about six months. So I don't know their lifespan, but I think he ended up having babies and then there was another spider and... Yeah, I just think it was like a generational thing of these spiders being in this like little corner in my shower. But I let him live. I let him live. He was able to just hang out there. Ross, welcome in. Donuts are so good. But unfortunately, I think the reason why I've fallen out of love with donuts is I just don't have really good donut shops near me. So unless I'm going for the classic Krispy Kreme, which is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not my go to. I also think it had something to do with the fact that I was way more into fitness. So like working out in donuts go hand in hand, even though they don't. But it was like I worked out to consume donuts. And now that I'm not working out as much anymore, I guess I cut the donuts out. Resurrect the spider. <laughs> Scarlet, welcome back in. I see Len007, welcome back in as well. Wayward. Um, all right. With that, let's go ahead and get started. We've had a little bit of a issue at the beginning where I wasn't having sound so let's go ahead and start the game up because we've got a lot to get through before the next one comes out I think we have about a week right 10 days I think it's 10 days mm. no I did have a spider in my car one time I did I had a spider in like do you know the um oh what is it called like the mirror that flips down the visor it was hiding in the visor. So when I dropped the visor it dropped into my lap it was the most terrifying thing ever uh pro josh i also see allstad and squishy no squi squiggly squiggly and noah guys thank you for the followers and welcome to the channel and community i see video game shay hello to baz welcome back in didn't know you were playing fallen order today yeah i've been kind of talking about it i guess i didn't really post it anywhere but yeah so the lineup for the next couple weeks is jedi fallen order then jedi survivor in preparation obviously but yes then we'll go on to jedi survivor and then we're gonna do keeping with the space theme we're gonna be going into my very first playthrough of mass effect doing mass effect one through three and then if i'm feeling kind of spicy i might do andromeda andromeda right i don't know i kind of want to form my own opinion about it before i just absolutely i can't I can't shit on it without knowing anything about it. And yeah, if you guys are new here, I play a lot of classics, um, a lot of I'm not even I do not want to say older games, but basically any games that came out before or after League of Legends, I kind of fell into a League of Legends coma when I discovered it season one, like 2011, 10. And that was all I played for 10 years. So I didn't play all of these incredible series because I was in a just I was solely fixated on League of Legends for so long. So my um, my stream has been just this incredible outlet as well as my YouTube channel to play through all of these incredible games and series that I missed. Hence why I never played Witcher 3 and also why I've never played Skyrim. League is a trap. Get out while you can. Black Hollow, welcome back into. Yes, we're doing Fallen Order and Gord, State of Hockey, at Klondike Bar, Mikes and Sheck. And also, Jewel, guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. Also, a little bit about me, too. I love Michael Myers. He does have a cowboy hat on right now, and he keeps moving out of the screen. I don't know what's going on. Every time I come back in my room, he moves slightly every day a little bit more. We want to see Casta making evil choices in Mass Effect. <laughs> So I always think that I like to say that I'm a good person. I like to think I'm a good person. But for some reason, video games just always prove me wrong with that. Like, every game we play, I inherently make these really bad choices that end up resulting in me being like evil. I did just download this too. The first time I played this. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait what? Hold on. The first time I played this, I did it on PlayStation. So I was not doing it on PlayStation this time around. I wanted to do it on PC. All lurk mode, engage, flannel, have a good one, and no worries. Hold on. I think I might have messed up. I just need to grab something real quick. I heavy. Thank you so much for the reset for 19 months in a row as well. I also see Riz with the Quali raid. Um... I think it needs EA to launch real quick. Hold on. I'm assuming it's requiring EA. You need a new app to open this link to EA. What? Uh, I did not run this right before I started. This is so, oh my, 
some bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, I, I bought it on Steam. All right, so I need EA. I need the EA app. Origin. <laughs> this is a meme. I just deleted EA off of my computer not even a week ago. This is a, yeah. Wallo, welcome in. Also, Zeke, Ghost, Chris, and Eskril. Guys, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. All right, let me download this. Blackbird, I see you as well. Uh, what got me into gaming? Holy cow. All right, sorry. I know I'm missing a ton of messages, and you guys know I hate that. But yes, let me download this real quick. Um, oh, what got me into gaming? Uh, short story, I have two older brothers and it was either play games with them when I was little or be alone in my room. And I decided to be alone in my room, but play games. So I did the best of both worlds. Um, but yeah, I started with N64. My first game was Ocarina of Time. And then I fell in love with it because I ended up being able to play incredible games like 007. Um, I have the like fondest memories of playing X-Men Legends, Battlefront, split screen with my siblings. And to this day, even though we all live apart from each other, we still keep up with each other through our shared love for games. So it just sparked this absolute love and joy for it for me so okay let me start this download and this will not take too long bear with the gifted sub uh, welcome to the shit show this is another level of the shit show like we call it a shit show but this is so another level i want to do ocarina of time i think for my five-year anniversary a little bit too if you are new here i've been streaming for almost five years it'll be five years in june and so i went full-time last year around may left my corporate job and everything and decided to do this and so this year is a big one for me like it's half a decade spent on twitch all right let me see yeah all right we're downloading i'm fine i can just see i know my mods just rolling their eyes right now i can feel it i can feel it <laughs> i'm sorry i'm like this all right i'm gonna move this over here uh, I was in the Air Force and flew the rapper. You can be in the military and not be a pilot. I'm going to smack y'all. This is the... Yes, yes. I did six years in the military as well. Uh, all right. Let me download this. I'll take a second, right? I'll take a second. I just got rid of EA. This is what bothers me more than anything. Death Striker. Also, Mista. Brilliant. Guys, thank you for the follows. Daily Epicness. Welcome back in as well. Yes, data hockey fall in order is really good. Okay, it says I need to repair it. So it is still on my computer. It's just hidden in the back. But yes, we'll work this. We'll get this. You're 19, right? Yeah, I joined the military when I was 13. I did. That's true. <laughs> According to my candles on my cake on my birthday this last year, I'm actually 24. Kelly is 30. <laughs> Yes, I just left the Air Force after nine and a half years. Wow, final heaven. I don't I can't remember if we talked about that, but that's amazing. And congratulations. Um, truly. I always tell people it is the best of times, it is the worst of times. All right. Let me do this real quick. Oh, maybe I can just do this. Yeah, I should just be able to use my no, no. Let me do this instead. Raj. <laughs> Raj with the 253 bits. Let me see this. Do you know what mo why movies 4, 5, and 6 of Star Wars come before 1, 2, and 3? Because in charge of directing, Yoda was. Yeah? Is that it? <laughs> Raj, I have to say, between last time and this one, I feel like you need, to, you need to come back. You need to take some time off, think about some more, and then run it back. <laughs> Move feed, panic, or... Yeah, no... Pan and also Mr. Trouble. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. She looks 70. She's not 24. She lies. I do. I look 70. I actually never get carded. It's true. Dublin, welcome in, by the way. People can only guess my age at this point. I don't even know my age at this point. That's the irony of this all. I do feel like after 25, you just stop. I don't know. I just don't fixate on like what age I am. It basically is more depending on how my bones feel that day. Do my knees hurt? Mm, okay we're just gonna do this what okay that's gonna work i'm just gonna create this real quick because i know at one point i had an ea account but i promise you i will not remember how to get back into it wow brett the 90s i was born in 97 so i do know my birthday 
Your dad doesn't know your age, so why should you? I, I, <laughs> I told you guys about that. I forgot. My dad said, <laughs> my dad wished me happy birthday, and he thought I was a year younger than I was. He completely forgot my real birthday. <laughs> It was a little hard. It was kind of, it, yeah, it was real humbling, but I, it's fair. He has three kids. I don't mind it. I know the hour intro. No, we're going to get started in five minutes. I just have to find this confirmation code. I normally have everything set up and this is the problem. Normally I have everything set up except that I was naive and thought because it was on Steam that it would just work based off of Steam. I forget that there's always extra things with like EA and Star Wars and everything. I stopped after 22. I stopped focusing on it after 22. That is a dad. <laughs> Thing is, he not only he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your birthday. I actually am going to be out of the country. I can finally watch you since I still want to play RE4 yourself. Can welcome back in. Yes, we finished RE4. All right. I clicked it. Let me just make sure that we're good to go. You'll need EA for Mass Effect as well. Yeah, because I own Mass Effect on Steam as well. So this all leads me back to why must I have multiple things for one game? Why not just, I don't know, I guess that's so it's all within the same library. I still do like it all being within like one spot, you know. Uh, Texas Shrimp, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, I got the code. I got the code. We got the hacks. It's so annoying that companies do this. I also just, I, when it comes to like what I have on my computer, I don't like having a bunch of frivolous things that I never use except for that one time that I play that one game. And maybe that one time I'm going to want to replay it in a couple years. So I never actually delete the app. But every time I look at the app, I get a little bit more upset at it because I'm like, you're just eating up space in my computer and it's just sitting there for me to look at. Okay, I think we're good now. Let me try clicking this. Jasmine, what's up? Welcome back in. Yes. Okay. Now we're rocking. We're rocking and rolling. Dan with the Discord alert as well. I see Trev. Trevo, welcome in. Um, yeah. And just real quick, thank you guys so much. If anybody, I'm sure like some of you guys were already verified, but thank you for taking the time to verify if you did and you came over from that raid. Um, I really appreciate that. Why is this on my screen right now? Hold on, let me delete this real quick. I swear I thought it was my alerts. Okay, I think we're good to go. The freaking alert. Loki, Adam, Darth, guys, thank you for the follows. Welcome in, Aquila with the hydrate. All right, I'm gonna switch it over. I have to add it to the scene. Yeah, it's set on verified only with accounts. I've done that since Elden Ring last year. Um, it can get kind of hectic. Do you guys want to keep the death counter? I think we should, considering the old days. I think we should go ahead and keep the counter on, but can one of my mods reset it? And then also, can one of my mods tell the difficulty in the title as soon as I pick the difficulty? I haven't done it yet, so. Mm. Okay. Get out of here, game dashboard. I don't want you. Uh, Bev and Dan, guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in as well. I realized that because I have the red light, I don't normally have red light behind me, but it's matching my lightsaber color. So it's just causing my, I think it's causing the overall look to be a little bit darker than it normally is. Okay, so I think I did Grandmaster to start anyway, and with my soul's experience, I think that we should just do, uh, I think we should just do Grandmaster. I kind of want to have a little bit of a challenge to make it a little more fun, just a little bit. It took me 11 days to beat it on Grandmaster. It only took 11 days. Were you like non-stop playing? Dude it, wait, do it, dude. Do it, dude, you're an epic gamer. Well, let's start with options real quick. Let me go to audio. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this down to 90. I'm gonna keep the dialogue up to 100 because I feel like that's probably... Yeah, I feel like that's going to be the worst. Let me know if it's too quiet and we'll adjust it later. I know we've talked about this. You'll never catch me not talking about how frustrating it is that every single game starts on max volume, except for that one game. There was one game we played that it didn't, and I can't remember. It was during the 12 games of Christmas. Do it. <laughs> Hotshot, welcome back in as well. Grandmaster is l soul's light. Okay. I say we do Grandmaster. Again, I'm trying to focus on the story because I can promise you I didn't the first time around. 
We're gonna try to run everything. I don't know. I always just turn off V-Sync with streaming. But yeah, I think this is good. Okay. Parry timing. Huh. Bees, khakis, no worries. I hope you have a good one and thank you so much for hanging around and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Yeah, definitely. Go, go get ahead at least. Dude, give you yourself one day and you'll be ahead of where I am. Are you kidding me? Also, I recommend playing it on Grandmaster. Banana Cow, welcome back in. IZ, Strystar, and Upgrade. Guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. The game was on normal. It's more frustrating than Elden Ring to me. I think I started it on Grandmaster. I really do. All right. Mm. I think I did. I fairly remember the parry system being pretty good. Skittish, what's up? Welcome back in. Yes. I heard they're making... So I've never played Knights of the Old Republic, but we were talking about playing the older, like the original this year. We were talking about doing that or the... Um, the shadow games i can't wait for jedi survivor i'm so excited that's why we're doing this getting even more excited and prepared um player who wants an intense and demanding combat experience can be changed any time in the great oh, okay you did beat it on grandmaster already oh next question you know i also remember that I crushed the boss. The end of it, I crushed that boss in like five attempts on Grandmaster. So yeah, let's do it. Master Casta. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Guys, as always, thank you so much for being here and just taking time out of your lives to, to watch and, and come along with this second playthrough of this game and get us even more excited for Jedi Survivor. So if it's not, like, not only for me, but hopefully it gives you guys a refresh as well if you guys aren't doing your own playthrough as you go along. Let me just make sure the controller's plugged in. And Mo Corbu and Mo Morator, Morator, Morator. Guys, thank you for the follows and Anon with the gifted sub as well. I think trying to beat this game after having ignored the tutorial for Perry too, though. Oh, I'll probably see. I, I'm wondering, I bet you they don't give you a tutorial on Grandmaster. I think. <gasps> thank you, Bri. Thank you. Yes. Did it start with it on? Mm. Does it show it in? Hold on, gameplay. Subtitles. Thank you. Yeah. Subtitles scale and everything will probably be fine. Very nice, very nice. All right, yes, remind me on the volume just as we go along. Did you, uh, did I what on my first play there? <laughs> what? Sorry, I did not track that. Mm. You said you haven't played it since it came out. I was questioning if I really wanted to do another playthrough. I forget all of it, so even though it's not a first playthrough, guys, for the record, after four years, the goldfish brim just a knack, and I forget it all. Okay. Plus, it has our guy from Shameless. It's gonna be so fun to get back to, like, a kind of Souls-like combat system. It's been a while. It's been a while. Has it been Elden Ring? Was that the last one? That was probably the last one. This is where the fun begins. Steven, welcome back in. Lunchbox, thank you for the follow. It's probably gonna be too loud for the intro, but just bear with me. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I have my memory wiped when I finish a game. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It is like seeing it for the first time. Listen, I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. <laughs> This is such a dream it's role a for him, us. I feel like. Here he is, Chief. No, Crop, it's not. It's my second one. detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gal will double your pay for this shift. 
My cow. Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'm assuming they did mocap for this. I feel like this, this is one of the best, right like, you. realistic looks of the actor versus what it, like, in the game, you know? It just looks really good and super clean. Hazard, Golden, Dublin, guys, welcome in English as well. Mm. The corporate job promo. <laughs> man, uh, man, Dragon, guys, welcome in. No, this is not my first playthrough. It is, in fact, my second one, but the first time I played it was when it first came out. So I really do not remember a single thing. I also, like, I can't foot stomp this enough. I did not pay attention to stories back then when I would play games, if that makes sense. Like, I really would just run through for the combat. So I'm actually going to slow down and focus on the story along this as well. The ship has seen a lot of action. It's one of the best Star Wars games. And Bri, thanks for the posture check. The BTS mocap scenes, it's such a cool insight. Don't worry about it. I feel like I look at it different having talked to Anna, but I think sometimes mocap doesn't always translate as well as it can. I don't think these tools are gonna make a big shift. All the details in the ship too. After you, kid. Yeah, this is the PC version, yeah. I like that they indicate where you're supposed to go with the slight painting differences too. You look at that ship breaking yard. Separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Trans ages. Breaking her will be big money. Decommissioning right, ships. Let's go. Is it a little loud for you guys? Do you want me to turn it down just a smidge? Like the overall music and sound? What's my experience with Star Wars? Oh man. So Star Wars always holds like a special place in my heart because I got to see it for the first time with my my dad. And so it's just kind of like been a special bond between us. But I grew up playing Battlefront. That was like Battlefront 2 was my favorite game to play with my siblings. Other than that, like I've never read anything. I've just really watched all of the original films and then Mandalorian. But as they started producing the newer films, I actually haven't kept up with them. I think the last one that I saw was Rogue One. So I'm a little behind. Speaking of though, I do want to do a Star Wars movie night. I'd love to do like a Star Wars movie night one of these days. Yeah, Battlefront hey, you okay? was insane. Yeah, I'm good. Ladders okay. out though. I'm gonna have to find another way. No problem. Oh no. I'll improvise. I always love this part. Yeah, you're right. He does run a little bit different. Depart this part immediately. You are not approved trash. You are not an approved trash. droid. Just not approved trash. I'm still trash, just not approved. All right, we got the swing across. I think sometimes we have to get more momentum there. Yeah, sorry I'm missing so many no-name welcome back in. I love how they throw you into this environment as well. Like, you're getting to see, like, all of these people working. And I think something about starting out here, too, is... It just shows you a whole nother aspect or dynamic within the Star Wars universe that you might not always think about, like a scrapyard like this, you know? Just passing through. That's not. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. He's even waving us on. Wave me on. So they do give you, okay, they do give you like a tutorial. I don't think you have to keep holding on to it just when you initially jump. Baby-faced Cal. Like he does look older in the next one, doesn't he? Let's get this job done. It's gonna be a wild night. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I've heard really good things about Andor. I do need to watch that. And drugs with the gifted of dawn approved trash. Good to see you. I forgot about this. Star Pass. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Starpaz, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community. Uh, Reflex got one, Shemmy, Chill Muffin. Anybody that got a gifted sub, guys, welcome in, and I hope you enjoy the emotes. Yeah, look at him. I forgot just how incredible these graphics are. Yeah, my PC, my PC specs are just down below in the About Me section as well, but if one of my mods don't mind doing an exclamation mark uh, specs. 
Yeah, sorry I'm missing so many messages, guys. I also see Spilner and Run. Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. Don't get yourself killed. Okay, this is That's the, the worst part of this game for me. Can you actually fall off? I can't remember if you can even fall off there. Andor is cool, more real. I think I am just a sucker for the originals because I I think that what they Sounds had like for the time, rats. they created Creepy. just it's such through, guys. a no special and, and unreal experience. Time. I don't want to go with the classic, like, films are just not made that way anymore, or stories or whatever, but... It was just special to me. Plus the memories, right? Like, seeing something as a kid... Plant Boy, hey, welcome Cal, back in. I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. When you see something as a kid, it's just completely romanticized, but in, like, a good way. Like, anything that deals with Star Wars just brings back that, like, childlike wonder, you know? It's the hair. You really love hair? That's interesting. I can see that, though. Hair is one of those, like, they either kill it or it's, like, it's definitely not Maybelline. All right, grab this. The originals were magic. That's the best way to put it. They were just magic. Yeah. The remastered versions with my dad in theaters in the late 90s. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I think Star Wars for a lot of people just, it's the connective you memories you that you here? associate with it. Huh? If I were to be anything this game, I'd probably be one of those, like, trash cams. 100%. Captain Josh, what's up? Welcome in. Steve and Big Red Foxy, guys. Thanks for the follows. Anon with the gift of sub to Captain. And to Sartorial! I think we're headed down, actually. Sartorial, welcome back in. Alright, drop and grab. Yes, very nice. What Lucas did was groundbreaking with the originals. Mm hmm. Again, like, oh, what came out? Like, what was... I wonder what the closest movie came out when I was born. 97. I saw there was a Star Wars celebration last Monday. I didn't know they did one. Force the Luke, welcome back in, by the way. Yeah, Look, the Vader scene in Rogue here. One. There it goes! Hey, we should get moving. Yeah. yeah. Good looking at it. Yeah, Rogue One is definitely my favorite out of the reboots, although I haven't seen all of them. I haven't seen all of them. Okay, I think we're headed up. Oh. Oh. The force is actually really good for hair conditioner. That makes sense. He has some glorious locks. Glorious. All right, I should just be able to jump behind. Nice. Do you think that the second one is gonna live up to the hype that this first one created? I grew up watching the originals. I really loved it. Also, wait, Mort, thank you so much for paying forward your gifted sub to the channel and community, and I'm glad to see you're enjoying it as well. Anybody that's new here, I hope you continue to enjoy. All right, there's nothing for me to loot yet. Look at the creature. Yeah, we're doing Grandmaster. My first playthrough was on Grandmaster, so I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be that difficult. We'll see. I say that now, I'm kind of a washed up soul streamer, so I don't know if I can actually say that. Got you it. hope it will be better. Do you guys feel like the, is it the same oh people God. creating it? Like same developers All and right. everything? Lab secured. A lot of times that is what gives okay? me like, I guess Still instills here. more hope in a sequel Maybe with a game there, like Ragnarok. Like they took Ragnarok and just, even compared to 2018, it crushed it. You know, I actually have only seen one trailer for Jedi Survivor, but it was enough to make me absolutely ecstatic this. for it. We're done. You can't say hi. Get up here. I did say I'm washed up. DK, yes, we're playing this on PC. Inebriated and Doc. Come take a look at this. For the follows, welcome in. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score! It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this he's been here what four years? Five. Never flew this, but down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. Hmm. I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. 
Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the boss. Sorry, I'm like really and paying the attention to the cutscenes. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Well, listen to me. Find us feel like this. It'll be your ticket off this soggy rock. Like the way that they choose well, the shots they're, they're gonna do, here. you know? <laughs> Come on, Kel, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. Hmm. Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Benny, welcome back Whatever in, Aurora. Hey, we should get back down. You're not listening to me. What was that? Dude, those are some strong cables to break like that. I don't think I want to break my fall, right? I should follow after him. He's leading the way. Did he just die? Bro, you okay? No. Oh, he, okay. He got, he got it. Bro, just hang on. This is where my force That's comes out, me. right? Is this where he no, discovers he has the go. force? I, I can't hold on! Bro! No! Oh! I did forget about this! Oh. You okay, bro? I, I'm alright! Just pin down! Pilot's gone! I'll get us out of here! Just hang on! Watch out, Cal! Look out! It's baby force! We still have to work on its proficiency, but yes. Thing is barely blind. Hold on. Oh, Croft discovers, but Cal knew he already had the force. Ah. Croft, you all right? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, we gotta. We gotta move. Come on. Hell happened. Wait, how do you know the backstory on Cal? Do we learn that later? Actually, that's probably a spoiler. What was that back there? Was, it, was that you? Well, that, that was the force. Was the wind? It was the wind. No, was okay. the wind. No, please no, trust me. I've seen the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. There's bounties out on people like you. Oh, the Jedi no. ship was his from before. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, no spoilers. Yeah, as a reminder, if you are new to the channel, unless I say floppy pickle, that's the code word where you guys can actually answer. Um, and also, Hutch, I know I missed a ton of people, but guys, thank you for the follows. Andy Roo and Father, guys, thank you for the resubs for five and nine months as well. And Kush with the hydrate. Yeah, during cutscenes, I'm going to try not to be looking too much at chat, but yes. I forgot that that was... Holding up okay? The moment. Good. Yeah, you? Yeah. It, was his star it wasn't his starfighter. Kel, I've been working with you some time now. I've never seen you do anything like that before. <laughs> We've been through some hell together. It's called adrenaline. So, you owe it to I him. The risk that you took for me. I just, I don't know how to repay you. Don't mention it. I mean it. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. This place. Maybe you should, you know, disappear. Just gonna head back to my place, grab my bag. Tapper owes me a favor. Oh. Somebody Heard else had to have seen the, it. No, she do Yeah. You won't be seeing me for a while, bro. No. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay, Kel. Well, you don't have to tell him. He's the one telling you to get out of here. He just remembered those days of the Old Republic. I mean, he definitely indicated that he knew something about it. I guess I never picked up that he, that we did know at this point, or it was the first indication that we knew he already knew. But somebody had to have seen what took place. Or they feel it, right? I think you can feel when force is used, but don't actually answer that yet. The Starfighter may or may not have been his. Jock, Kennedy, Matt, Dark, guys, welcome I love the pop-up use of orange. I feel like orange actually is 
kind of prevalent in a lot of the Star Wars films and maybe universe. It makes sense too, because if these guys are doing construction, maybe they're trying oh. to have like a pop of color. Rygem with the entire year. Rygem, welcome back in. Thank you so much for a whole year of continual support. And yes, as a reminder, please no tips, tricks, or spoilers. Part of just how I stream is I ask a lot of rhetorical questions, or I'm just telling you guys, like, thinking out loud. But again, floppy pickle, you can answer. Bro, but unless... Whoa, we lost, actually... We lost other people, too. You never took Star Wars seriously. Where are you going? Oh, no. Does he sell us out? I have a feeling he does. I have this faint memory that he sold us out. Don't think about it too hard, Lace. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> All right, somewhere else. It strikes fear into you. Like every time you see these kind of corridors. The more fluffy, fluffy pickles, the more marbles. <laughs> Time to sprint. Yeah, the transitions are unreal. I mean, every shot that they've done so far for the for the game just feels like a movie. It plays like a movie. Jaro? Trust only in the Force. That's like really vague. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> the most vague advice I know what to do with. Yeah. Something's going on. Oh, sh. Everybody up. Identification ready. If we work here, we should be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Move out and line up. Vague statement from a Jedi. Contraband inspection. Inconceivable. I love the use of neon lights too, very often. I actually love fighter jets to begin with, so seeing like how they create their like just spaceships and transportation in the Star Wars series is really incredible. There's such a variety in the types. So we are seeing a little bit of like lag here and there, but I think it's also, I have it on all the highest graphics settings. Is this all a loop? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. That's right. This is no common anarchist. But a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. No, don't sell me turn out. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. Mm. I think. It's time someone came forward. Oh, he's gonna sacrifice himself. I, uh... I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers... became scrappers. Hmm. The workers? They just started getting worked. It's with that one guy oh. to the left. He just says We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You all. <laughs> no! Yes. I actually thought it was going to say it was him. Yeah. Oh. I found the Jedi. You think? Oh, no. 
All right, let's see if I messed up by picking Grandmaster. We're about to find out real quick. Hold it. Don't move. How'd you get here? Easy now. Got a stowaway. Got a stowaway. What? All right, you already know what I'm going to do. Um, you know, we might be okay because at the end of the day, they're still stormtroopers and I'm a Jedi. And they've got that, you know, Stormtrooper aim. So we should be fine even on Grandmaster. I can't remember the looting in this game, so I don't know if there's a lot to really explore. I think it's pretty linear until you are able to explore throughout the territories. Um, some heroes don't wear capes. For some reason, I really thought he was about to say it was him instead of doing this, like, speech. But, yeah, real quick, um, just because I know there's a lot of new people. This is not my first playthrough. This is my second one. But I played it, like, three, almost four, whenever it first came out. So it has been a long time, and I have a true goldfish brain. Uh, so things, like, feel familiar, but I couldn't tell you anything that's going to take place. You hear that over the comm? Jedi? Stay sharp. Alright, I'll be the one. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. Yeah, Quali, have you never played this? Okay, get closer. She's insane. Oh, that's right, we gotta climb up. Okay. Right. Oh, wait, wait, to reflect it back. That's right. There we go. Alright, there we go. Blaster bolts. Nice. Let's like work this a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I wasn't monitoring my health, but I don't think you should just go for blocking all of their stuff. I'm getting used to it. First death, I know. Decaf, wild, gas, aggro. Guys, thanks for the followers and welcome in. I forgot that you parry back like the bolts themselves. Oh, I was so bad at parrying. I took my hatred out on the game. <laughs> we'll see if I live to regret it. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Easy now. Marbles every 10. Jedi. Okay. So let me try to use it more like, I think it's just about being fluid with it. So knowing when to block and then also holding it up. But you can't just constantly press it up, you know? We'll make you pay. So like, it's probably not bad to do it every once in a while, but not fixate on it. Hmm, keep it up. There we go, nice. Incoming threat! I've sealed oh, the cargo door. Oh! You are leaving here alive. Alright. I think I need to reflect it back. There we go. Alright, break through these. Nice. Trust only in the force. We haven't been able to use the force yet. Actually, look at that. Look when he tries to use it. Because you're trying to use it too early before they tell you. Okay, press this. I took one hit, and did that do half of my health? Hmm. Okay, interact. We better get something to heal us soon. I took two shots. Way out. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I'm learning still, I'm learning still. I thought I clicked it, but I don't think so. My controller's on the fritz. My controller, guys, come on. Don't do me dirty like that. I need something to heal first. Ah, uh, sneak attacks, I'm guessing? I chose to rest instead. Yeah. That's how I prepare. Target lock switched off. That's how you prepare for death. Rest when you're dead, Stormtrooper. Okay. Got an injured intruder. Mm, I don't like this. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, sh oh. I need something to heal right now. Use LB just before an enemy's attack to hit the parries. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Every kill is for the Empire. Remember a Grandmaster, the parry timing is just really small, right? Raphael, what's up? Welcome back in as well. Benja, that's the thing in this game. If you fall, if you fall, it just resets back, but you take a bit of your health. That's right. So every time you go back, you get a little bit less. I got to get acclimated to it, so I'm not going to be too hard on myself until we get a little bit further into it. All right, let's do it. Hmm. 
I heard something. Confirm. Okay, let's mess around. Oh. I can't do this by myself. All right, let me try this. Nice. There we go. Look, I used to be a parry queen, so just let me let me work on this a little bit more before we're crushing them. Nice. Very nice. Nice. I forgot how like smooth the combat feels in this, but you do have to rely heavily on on parrying. Oh, but it's so satisfying. Back at it again. I'm gonna miss here. Yeah. Well, you don't have to parry every time. Don't be so hard on yourself. That's chat's job. Uh, just before an enemy- am I not doing it right? Like, it keeps wanting me- Oh, there's something else I need to do. Use parry to stagger weaker enemies. Okay. RB to slow an enemy. Oh. Oh, that's so OP. Force power depletes the force meter, but attack- okay. Nation, and also, uh, sneak. I see John. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome. Use the force on an object to slow it. Oh, this is right, this is right. Okay. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, oh. All right, try again. Slow it. I gotta get this climbing stuff down. There we go. Training was like for this? Hold on. Woo. I hate that you're having to like fight these guys and then also reflect the bullets in the back. I'm in a panic. I already know I'm in a panic. There we go. Nice. Nice. Very nice. All right, jump down. comes this way. I'm ready for it. Oh! Oh, I didn't get the sneak attack. Oh. Silas, what's up? Welcome in. Yeah, so if he was doing mocap for this, is there like behind the scene footage from when he was working on this, by the way? We're not going on here. I should be jumping down somewhere. Jumping on any of that. I'm not doing anything with this. Am I falling down somewhere? Going on the side? Right here. What? Don't actually tell me. I can't use the force on every... I guess I can maybe fall down on the side here. Do I have a double jump of some sort? It looks like I would go this way, but I can't. Okay, and we're not going back in through here. on anything. Oh! You can actually just roll off! They don't leave it where you can't even roll off? Sartorial, don't look at me like that. No, I've never played Ghost of Tsushima. Carl, Trev, guys, welcome in. Alright, so we have the people over here. I see these two signs right here, but I think the signs are more for the trains. I have zero HP, living on a prayer. Can I move the boxes out of the way? I feel like I could use the box. Can I use the force on the boxes? I'm trying to trust in the force. This took me a while to figure out too. There's a part that maybe it told me to do something and I just missed it in that exact moment. Don't actually spoil it, by the way. And also, Anon, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Please no tips, tricks, or spoilers. You can- you guys saw me jump right here, right? Did you not see me jump on- I know I tried jumping over there, maybe I didn't jump right here. Yeah, the force is failing you. I jumped right there! I jumped on the left side. Free! Right. Well, I mean, at least it's nice to know that the game may change, but I never do. Oh, man. 
with it this is um i'm gonna have like 100 deaths by the end of this no <laughs> absolute chaos yeah fall damage all right let's try to stay centered and get away from the sides hello fall damage my old friend let me jump along faster i clutched it only to choke on it <laughs> Nice. Okay, I'm gonna work on parries exclusively. All right, hold on. Nice. Hey, don't you see me killing your friend? Respect it. I need to work on a rolling and evading. Okay. Ah. Yeah. All right, Sethis, come on. We're doing Grandmaster, and it's also I haven't played a game that works like this in a long time. This is front. Stop the I've been doing Witcher for so long, I forget how to play anything else. The parry animations are disgustingly good. Also, just the combat all around feels so smooth. Clue, thank you so much for 52 months of continuous support. And that's here too as well. Oh, no. I hope you're doing Need well. Cover. You gotta move in between bursts. Okay. Oh. Now. He even said one too. another one I have never played a Dark Souls game ever no I started I only played Dark Souls for about like two years of streaming go 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 Master. go I was born in Souls you merely adopted me Shot the coupling out. All right, get it, get it, get it. Down. Gotta get down. I don't trust myself ah. going fast with ah. getting down. You know. Ah. I guess. Oh. No, no, no. I also feel like. Jump up, jump up. Now back up, back up, back up, back up. I also feel like Cal always has like the worst Whoa. of luck. You this know. Is bad. Only way is thank up. Thank you so much for the resub as well for eight months in a row. It's the Nathan Drake effect. Yes, that is the best way to put it. All right, go faster, 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 faster. Up, up, up. Oh, Cal? Cal? My man? We jumped too soon. I think I've been spoiled by some games recently where you don't have to be like flawless. With this game, there's no room for error. Like you can't be panicky, you have to really be calm and collected and do exactly what it needs you to do and do it correctly. Like it's not enough to be close to it and it's gonna carry it like that. Gravity is rearing its boss's head. Sure, she'll be here soon. She always makes an appearance. Warrior, thank you for the follow and welcome as well. I know I missed a ton of people. No! You're right. I think that the, the climbing is just... It's so finicky. Like, it's just... Uh, I'm, I'm just not used to playing something... like this for a while. No excuses, though. Too. 
Mark, the ginger. Come here. Yeah. I see the people on the other side. I gotta block them too. Oh, what? what? I died before I even got up there. Braxton, what's up? Welcome in. Oh my goodness. I still stick by wanting to do this on the hardest difficulty because I want to see how crazy I was back then. But getting fall, like the fall deaths are the worst. Okay, that's fine. Let's stick with this. Well, I forgot. I actually wasn't, when I chose Grandmaster 2, I wasn't considering how, how when you die, Oh, your friend screwed you over. How when you die, you get a percentage of your health taken from you, and you respawn, you know? Na -na -na -na. Na -na 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 -na. Shoot me! Go, go, go! Oh, I need to jump across, don't I? I need to jump across. I'm scared to jump across and die. I feel like that's not really what I need to do. Okay. I oh, highly no. recommend you revisit the game. Just say we're going Tree for the highest stuff. death counter. Na, 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 na. Mm -hmm. I'm having an hard right time. <laughs> Nori, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. You also respawn after fall deaths in Witcher and all this. Hold on. Whoa! always my favorite in this. Yeah. And jump! Hold on! I'm glad it was a cutscene because if I had actually had to grab it, I think I would have missed it. No! Jedi's have different bone structure? Am I, I'm confused? Going somewhere. He's the worst luck. I recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who is your master? Padawan? Mm. Someone I killed, perhaps? What Jedi gave their life? So that you might live. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Okay. All right. Let me get a bag. Let me get a bag. I can do this. I did Grandmaster the first time. Uh, be to it. Come on. Okay. Let's end it. Ha <laughs> ha. What am I using right now? Am I using an Xbox controller or is it PlayStation controls? I'm guessing it's PlayStation controls. Pick me up! Pick me up! Get on board! I know it's freaking me out because of you guys know RE4 was on PlayStation controls using an Xbox. So my sense of X is. Visitors. You said that she... you think she's in Mandalorian? Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. Uh, 
Actually, it'll be interesting to see how Thanks for the help. much he's grown in between these two. My name is Sir Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Grease. Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. Ooh. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys a force you. How do you know so much? And uh, why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? He always looks like he's smiling. It's so What's cute. The bounty on Jedi these days anyway. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. Mm -hmm. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Character. Like what? ZY. Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? <laughs> the Jedi Council? The Motley crew. They're gone. Oh. So I'm all you've got. Hmm. Captain, set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. There's some care. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. There's some characters that it doesn't, like, they don't have to try hard. They're just, like, a liked character, and he's one of those. Henrik, welcome back in, by the way. I was going to say the title drop, yeah. Yeah. You gotta move on and live your life. Prof. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep. What weirdo. What's wrong with talking in your sleep? From Mad TV. Reminds you of Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. It does have that kind of feeling in Guardians of the Galaxy when you're getting brought on board to the spaceship. And it actually, in a lot of ways, yeah, I can kind of see him being similar. It just has like those common themes. Spaceship. Captain. Kind of comedic. Hero. I don't know. I prefer to talk to other people in their sleep. They get so confused. I talk in my sleep a lot. My brothers used to have like full blown conversations with me. Maribel, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, now I can finally welcome people. I know there was a lot going on. Um, as you can see, yeah, I completely understand, Auntie. I am playing on Grandmaster, but like we already have eight deaths. It's a little bit of acclimation to the game because I haven't I haven't touched a game like this in a little bit. I want to say since probably Elden Ring, at least with this kind of combat system. But yeah, it is. It's very heavy on the parry system if I recall correctly and even just in that short amount of time you could see that like if you miss that window you suffer so much from it and I forgot that the game actually punishes you for respawning but it does diminish a little bit of your health and so until we get something to kind of heal us back up which I think in Grandmaster maybe you don't have as much access to healing but don't actually answer that punchy welcome back in I know sorry I missed so many people and Sith Lord, Sith Lord Vega, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community. Holy cow, Drix, Fall, Bulgogi, I see Leroy and Rai. Guys, I hope y'all enjoy the sub and the channel and the community. And I see Andy, Love, Love, Lover, and also Rai. Guys, thank you for the follows and I hope y'all enjoy the channel and community. And just, I'm gonna kind of reiterate this a few times, but as a reminder, this isn't my first playthrough, um, but it has been about three years and there's been <laughs> over I think a hundred games between this one and or the first playthrough and this playthrough so my memory of it is lacking to say the least you didn't die in the first boss fight yeah how do I die to stormtroopers but I don't die in the first boss fight I was shocked that I didn't I thought I was living on one HP in a dream I think hey Max thank you for the hydrate as well it was one HP in a dream it was scripted can you even die there hold on I spilled this can't you still die? Oh, it's scripted so that when you're about to die, you see that? Like it cuts to that scene, I'm assuming. 
100 games. I haven't played that many in my entire life. Maybe I'm being dramatic. Maybe it's more like 50. Maybe it's more like 50. Yeah. Thanks, Heinrich. Did I pick that up, by the way? Hold on. Let me interact with this first. Oh, that's cool. It's like a guitar almost. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern won't be the next Jedi Fallen Order stream. Play free bird. <laughs> yes, allegedly you can beat her. Oh, that's all. I wrote it. Years ago, you touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an huh. echo in the force from the object. Well, not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi. Once? But not anymore. Do I know you? No. But I knew your master, Jaro Tapal. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. Mm. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when... You survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We'll come up on our destination. So he didn't, like, he doesn't actually know how to play it, but because of the Force's vibrations, you can pick up which... Or would you still have to know how to play the instrument at a bass level? But then to play the actual tune, it was just hitting the vibrations from the Force? Shum, Kimbo, Strider, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in, Landon. This I see Azzy. Yes, a Jedi I knew in. discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? Mm. I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. How can you just stop and being I'm a Jedi? I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy and a common cause. Fair. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. Run along, Aaron boy. May the Force be with you. If we could travel. Okay, so you think not just a base level, he can actually play the travel level too. <laughs> Mike, please. That was good. That was good. So you think like he can see the chord and so he's like strumming along it. It's like a reactive kind of thing. looking for a Jedi then. Skill point if acquired. there's already one here, why does Seer need me? This is so cool. Getting to like re... Just see all of this again and I would almost say with like new eyes as well because just how I look at games has changed drastically in the last three years too I saw what you said Benjamin yes that is what like not only was this meant to be a refresher for me but hopefully you guys are able to kind of get a little bit something from this playthrough and maybe it'll help you be refreshed when the when the next one comes out in 10 days so I doubt I'll I doubt I will beat it right before it comes out. I think we'll probably finish it after a few days, but that's good because I don't want to play it right when it comes out. I want to give you guys the opportunity to kind of get ahead of me, um, and that way there's no spoilers. Yeah. You didn't play the game yet. Is it worth it? So I think also I want to say this was thirty five dollars. I. Does it go on sale often? I think you guys would know that more than I. But yeah, I think it was about 39 maybe it's $40. And I think $40 is completely worth it for this game, 100%. Because you not only have difficulty replayability, like with challenging yourself more, um, I just think it's a well done game to be priced at 40 Yeah, I'm surprised. The next one's, I'm guessing, going to be $70. Has somebody pre-ordered it yet? 
Look at it. It's Ginger. It is free on Game Pass. Yes, yes. It's free on Game Pass, I heard. Uh, Absolute Captain, Bad Knights, and Seward, and Sean. Guys, welcome in and thank you for the follow. I like seeing the creatures and all of the little details that they put into the world, so I want to see them pop back up. And the music? Huh. I love the wildlife. I was like, kill it. Mm -hmm. Worth it on full price. Even worth it on full price. Look, $40 for a game nowadays, even if I'm only going to play through it one time. If I have more than 25 hours out of it, it's kind of worth $40 to me. Just need to focus my mind. All right. Meditate. He said that when he meditates fully, he goes back to the night that that happened. Yes, Punchy. It's so great to see you again. I feel like it's been a while. Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points and acquire new skills. Ooh, and my skill tree knowledge will be different. Will squared, welcome in. You have enough skill points to learn a new skill, open the tree, and use them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You bought the collector's edition. What did the collector's edition come with, actually? Wait, it comes with an actual lightsaber hilt? Ah, there's some really, like, expensive and nice lightsabers out there um, to order online and everything. Like, not just the ones that are sold on Amazon, you know? It's funny how this game is able to really capture the creativity of Star Wars way more than some of the movies. I've always preferred my entertainment uh, to be in the form of a game than a film to begin with because it's just one more step of more immersion. Unlocks a powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies. It's the only one I can do anyway, so we're just gonna smack that. All right, so we have our heavy strike finally. Is it holding Y, I'm assuming? Yeah, holding Y. Mm-hmm. I should finish the game sometime. You should. I just didn't really like the running animation. That's interesting. Wait, you retired from Souls games? Yes, yes, I'm a retired Souls streamer. 100% Rain Man, thank you for the hydrate. Hey, welcome in. And Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to pump. What do you mean by expensive? Like 25 or 50? I think that sometimes $60 is too much to spend for a game that I'm only going to play through one time. Like, uh, oh, what was the one? Was Quarry 60 or was Quarry 40? I think Quarry was 40. Cal's maximum force is increased, and then holding slow allows Cal to slow his targets for a longer duration. You just got the top of the line saber not too long ago, and it's sweet. How many? I mean, I think it can even vary not only in color, but also like it pulses different. It's I'm sure you can probably remote control it at this point with some of those higher level lightsabers. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump. Oh, we definitely want to do the dash strike because then you dump. Uh, d you dump while dashing. You jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. To be fair, there's not very good movies anyway. Yeah, but even before, I don't know, I've always preferred, like, putting my time into games than watching films. But now more than ever, yes, you're right. Now <laughs> more than ever. Retired but unreformed. There's still a soul streamer deep inside. Just very deep. Cow can perform another powerful attack after all the Wait. That can be really OP, but I don't think you can spam it. I'm assuming you can't spam one after the other. G Scott, what's up? Welcome back in and program. Thank you so much for the reset for seven months in a row. Welcome back in. Hello. Uh, superior blocking. Cal's defenses are improved. All right, so we basically have force lightsaber and survival. I don't think I'm going to have the skill points to complete the tree in its entirety, so I feel like I should kind of decide what I want to go after now. I've always known how to dump while dashing sometimes. <laughs> Depending on what you ate, Taco Bell, of course, of course. Torrance, welcome back in, and I hope you enjoy the sub and the emotes as well. I don't know, though, superior blocking, if I'm going to be doing, sometimes I think a stronger defense with us going on Grandmaster. Games can be more immersive sometimes. Games, to me, lately, too, though, some of the more recent games, I don't know, I feel like the creativity is just running out on some of them. All right, definitely rest real quick. Cam, Cam, what's up? Welcome in. Thank you so much for verifying as well. I know it X's a bunch of you guys out from being able to talk in chat, but I appreciate you guys taking that extra step. B1! Hey, I do remember this BD1. guy. I'm Cal. 
Uh, Booby? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. Ooh. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. Y you know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait. He's my friend. On. Did you just slice that? Thanks. I'm also amazed that they're able to continue to create like such uniquely different droids that just become endeared to us in every single thing. I mean, like, they're all different, but yet they're so adorable in their own way. Yeah, we're doing these ones. Oh, uh, don't want too many more trolls. That's the vault we already have too mentioned. many troll biscuits. <laughs> Whatever I'm supposed to find must be waiting there. Look at that creature to the left, though. New ob objective added to the hollow map. The hollow map. BD1 is so good. And also, Kanjo, welcome in. Thank you so much. I don't know why it didn't pop off. And Bot Bass, thank you for the follow. Welcome in too. What were you just playing? Try experimenting with the hollow map controls. Oh. Rotate? Look at that hollow map. Oh, God. Is she beautiful? Zoom in a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. Bring it from the top. I love how it's like play around with the map a little bit to get used to it. BD1 over BB8. You know, I never cared too much for BB8. Is it BB8? Is that the one? Mmm. I want a chill droid like that. Uh, I guess it does make sense if you're trying to go out to other ones. Yeah. Oh, actually, hold on. This is important. This is important. I had this my first time playing it was on PS4 as well. It was no, no, no. Bloodborne was the reason I bought a PlayStation. But this was, I think, the second PlayStation game that I played. And Kajo, yes, welcome in. And Steel, thank you for the follow. Okay, so 5% um, explored. There's 0 out of 16. I see our legend, but 0 out of 16 something. I see two chests. I'm not familiar with what the two markers are up there, but don't actually tell me. And 0 out of 6. Mm, the legend actually doesn't speak to those yet. But I'm assuming it's loot-based. Loot or, like, maybe not meditation spots. BB-8 is cool. He just wasn't my, like, I don't know. I don't know if I had to pick one droid. Uh, my recency bias is saying BD-1. <laughs> Do you feel I like... Over here. I sense something over here. Uh, down there. Do you feel like they made the worlds, like, full of life and enough stuff? You know how, like, one of my complaints with Outer Worlds was that I just felt like all of the enemies felt the same and there wasn't enough variety to the different worlds, but I, I can't remember if that's the that's case really in this one. Bug. Whoa! Bye bye Milk, what's up? Welcome in. R2 droid makes it through. The R2. It makes it through it all. This one? Yeah. Did you say the lightsaber from Fortnite? Bloody, also Millie. I'm sorry, it's Millie. Millie, Aussie, and Bloody, guys. Thank you for the follows and welcome in. I think I have to do the bounce back and forth. Navy Wavy, welcome back in too. No way through here. Hmm. Guess that's why BD1 warned me. All right, maybe I'll listen to you next time. Sorry, BD. Oh, oh, oh! Let's actually try holding. This better be... R3 to sense the echo. Echo sensing? Echo after sensing? boggling eggs in the pack fought back. The dead splots? A dead splots killed by boglings when it attempted to raid their nest. Look at it! Little ears. Though... Through a rare ability known as psychometry, Cal can receive information from the Force when he touches certain objects. Cool. Okay, we do need to get back up here. He might have said this was not the right way, but I still need to explore everything to its fully, like full extent. I really want to make RDR2 out of wood. What do you mean out of wood? Get out of here. Plants. Do they grow back right away too? No. Did you say the adorable baby eater? No. <laughs> Marks and Rick and Rai, guys, welcome in. All right, we're gonna go back to the meditation part real quick. Oh, uh, that's a good point. Is there fall damage? I don't think there is. Mm. Oh, yes. We will be exploring everything. We'll be reading as much as I come across as well. Okay, 
We got our health back. Go back. I know it's a little bit of a setback. For Ron to meet her mind. <laughs> All right, Brett. I think they said this way. Any ideas? Look at that thing. Get across this gap somehow. It's got the fluffiest little tail. Mm. <gasps> Sorry, BD. Let me actually check out the map. How do I pull up the map? Is BD one is busy. Customization. I did not see that. Oh, okay. I forgot about the ponchos and then the. Oh, we can change the mantis as well. This game is actually kind of easy to 100%, which is nice. Yeah, I think that doesn't mean that there's like not enough in it per se. I think that there is variety. I'm assuming they have different creatures on every. I keep wanting to say realms because of. Um... Oh, man. What is making me think realms? What game was it? Oh, because of God of War. Like, I keep wanting to go. How'd you know that would work? Whoa. Wait, you didn't? <laughs> That's right. BD1 kind of has a sense of humor, too. Seward, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your time here. Now, I've not played Hogwarts Legacy. I have not. Um, not Skill Tree. Thought that was going to be a memory. I'm impressed with the short amount of distance between some of the meditation points. Hmm. Oh, you can quick turn around, by the way. Could you? Did it do it? No. I hear you. But there's something over here I want to explore. I think I want to go over here first. We're going to go exploration primarily. You better land on that, I swear. What is this place? Yeah, this is good. Exploration first, BD1. Come on, you know me. Cal's actor is obsessed with ponchos after this game. <laughs> Was he? Um, To kind of expand on, I think I should be able to do this one. That's gonna be heavy. Oh, Snapple. To kind of expand on what I was saying, I, I can't remember how Cal is at the end of this, but I do think by one the one trailer we saw, I feel like he he definitely looks older, right? Like a lot, not a ton of time, but there's definitely been some maturation between the two games on his side of things. Richard, one out of three. I use this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. It's so exciting. Research notes. Uh, meticulous handcrafted notes on the energy sphere left behind by the researcher. But you can't actually access it? Like, there's nothing to read, really? Hmm. So, these are the two things. Okay. The researcher and Boglin studies. There's five different things on Boglins. So, those games have gotten easier over the years. Ah. Uh... You think Elden, I will say Elden Ring I did the best at, but I thought it was more because I had more experience by the time Elden Ring came along, not because it was like easier. And Asad, thanks for the hydrate. They just gave him some facial hair. He finally got past the, uh, the peach fuzz phase. I hate that RS is the interact. I don't like that. I think that turned them off completely. We've got more up there. Let's try jumping up here. Hmm. I wanna get up onto the next platform. Maybe I can jump to it from here. Nope, nope. He's like, come on, Maggie. It's five years between, or was it 10? Is it five? The protagonist's voice sounds off. Maybe you can get to it from a different way. Yeah, because you can't jump up through those sides and I can't get across from there. No, but I have to get back some... Am I using that? There's no way I'm gonna jump and use that. We can just jump back up there this way. I'm used to using X to interact, yeah. Ah! Come on, Cal. I know. Alkin, welcome back in. And Phil, hello. Stop. I can see there's like a slight, I don't know, something about the movement is just a little bit different, but I wouldn't say it's like a bad way. There we go. All right, pop up. 
Go, 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 go. Maybe let's jump to this one? Anytime you're like free jumping like this, it terrifies me. I don't trust myself. Cal will just live here now. I like the moss and just the greenery in this area. I don't know if I'm supposed to be exploring right now. I know I'm kind of just running around and maybe I'm even missing things that I actually need to use. What am I? Okay. Where am I missing the map? What do I press to get the map out? Destroying anything I can. Ah, and we're also learning we can illuminate with the lightsaber. <laughs> the beam walking is my biggest enemy. <laughs> Except it's act they actually are not too bad in this one. I think they're pretty generous with your kind of movement. That thing looks like it smells worse than Grease does. I don't think I should be fighting that right now. I don't, I don't. Oh my God. Oh. I don't think I should be fighting it right now. <laughs> Restore when you die, you can lose all of your XP gained since your last skill point. Damaging the enemy who killed you will restore your last XP and refill your life. Snap, you do have to kill it though, right? If you want to get it back, I have to kill it to receive my XP back. Just absolutely got munched. I should have tried to dodge. I think we can do this. If it's like a souls kind of combat, we can get in there, hit it once, learn what to dodge. We got this. The rare. Nope. I gotta go back the other way, right? Or is this way? Yeah. Just damage it. Just damage it and you'll get it back. So I can just run and kind of smack him a little bit. <laughs> smack him and then we'll get it back. Jomin, Jay, guys, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. All right, we're gonna smack that. Get out of here. I'm, I kind of want to try to kill it though. I'm just using an Xbox controller. The well-known Jedi value of revenge. All right, target him. I, I keep, you know what it is? I got it. Oh, okay. Okay. Third time's the charm. I know it's happening. I keep instinctually pressing A to roll. I keep going for A to roll. Was Witcher A to roll? Was God of War A to roll? One of the games. It's like stuck in my brain. Smack the frog. Smack the bass. Orange juice, what's up? Welcome in. It's all about dodging. God of War. Oh. Change the keybind. I could change it, but then I I think I need to get back to being Row is on B, but God of War is A. I'm fairly I'm sorry, what would be equivalent to A? What just happened to his did you see his movement? Get comfy, this is gonna be a while. Third time's the charm. Come here. Alright, we got our life force back. He can one tap you. One more try. Just give me one more try, and then I'll tactically retreat. Brave Sir Robin it. Well, Brave Sir Robin. I We have to tap it anyway, because I need to get my XP back. I know it's not a lot of XP, but it's more than I normally have. The one, the one chomp. Bubby, Joe, and Johnson, guys, welcome in. Uh, there goes the rest of the stream by not giving up. Really show those plants. The movement is so, it's like the movement in f is fluid and weird at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. This boss smacked me. It's funny because he just doesn't feel like a boss. Okay, so he does a few attacks. Okay, I haven't even hit him yet. Go, or hold to the side. Hold to the side. All right, we got the life force back. Uh, he does like a quick attack and then he has a couple like attacks. Okay, I'm not gonna get caught up on this, but we will just go smack him, get our health back and then come back. Tactically retreat. 
Brave Sir Robin. Just one more. <gasps> We've returned to the streams of just one more. Oh, I missed those days. Just one more, guys. It's like went, but not as fun. Just one more. I know, this is why I never count. I hate having the, the death counter on these kind of games because it's just... It's the way that these games work. Aries. Would that be a pee pee smack or a pee pee chomp? <laughs> Definitely a chomp. Alright, come here. Come here. Alright, you can keep my XP. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. I recently was humbled with <laughs> God of War and the Valkyrie and the Berserker King. I think I've officially been washed up as a soul streamer. Okay. Story progression, go! No, do not get me caught up on one more because you know I'll do it. Hardy style taco. Welcome. Careful over there. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. We'll come back. We'll come back. Mm-hmm. You don't think you've ever seen anybody take that guy out early? Go help him save him. Also, oh, they're so cute when they're standing on their hind legs. Just one more. Just one more. I'm not giving up. I'm assuming there's nothing to be gained by smacking things in this game. Mm hmm. It was cute when it stood on its hind legs. Retired uh, soul streamer visiting her glory days. Oh no, I've gotten to that phase in my life. Back in my soul's days. It's a creepy prairie dog. Home, home on the range. Whoever mm. lived here used this room for storage. They See, we food and supplies. Larder. We're already back, by the way. We're already back to the XP I had to begin with, so it's fine. We knew just one more for Gwent meant we were spending the rest of the week running a Gwent gauntlet. Keep talking about Gwent and I'll go right back. Someone lived here for some time, using this larder for storage and provisions. Mm, Hugo, what's up? Welcome in. I'm Punchy, thanks for the hydrate. Mm, they do look like a naked mole rat. But like, an enlarged one. Don't mind me. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let oh. me? Oh. That's right, because <laughs> okay. he's... Yeah. I mean, he learned how to kind of be, I guess, a scrapper, but also, like he said, they used to be engineers as well. Well. Similar. Your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. Little welder. Uh, yes, I played all the Gwen tournaments. Okay. Yes, I did. Try that. Yeah, that's where I was headed too. Okay, well, first Back we gotta up. figure out a way out of this place. Master Iron, welcome in. I see Brando, welcome back in too. Fate, Polly, welcome in as well. Uh, BD, that's a little small um, for me. Don't worry, I'll find my own way out. Here we go. Tight fit, but this should, should be work. enough. No, it's actually my second, but it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been three years since I played it. Gotta get a refresher before the new one. Play and Polly, guys, thank you for the follows. I forgot how many cutscenes there were in this, you know? Like, just how many. Look at the bed. That's a good sized bed, honestly. I was expecting something smaller, like child size. The fan is not safe. <laughs> Darko, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you, I hope you have a great start to your week. We should be able to jump over here. <laughs> you remember why it got your attraction? Wait, what? What is that, Benja? Ah, uh, can I do it yet, though? I don't think I can customize my lightsaber yet. I think we do that later. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, uh, it's your turn to save me, B. Yeah. 
I'm all right. <clears throat> yes. Okay, that's how we learned to heal. Healing stem. They're full of surprises. Better. Thanks, little droid. So I found the area, but... Okay, let's try this again. Oh, uh... Okay. <laughs> Here, hop on board. All of those narrow ways were ways to hide the loading screens on the PS4? So... That's so clever. That's actually a really clever use of that. Multiple entries. Chapter 1, The Journey Begins. Cal, a former Jedi Padawan, has been hiding out on the Braca since, on Braca since Order 66. Cal joined a scrapping crew and lived in hiding for years, but blew his cover when he was used, when he used the Force to save his friend Prof, which ultimately didn't matter, but from a deadly fall. This prompted the ruthless second and ninth sisters to attack him. Cal was narrowly saved by two mysterious individuals. Seer, is it Siri? Or Seer, I think it's just Seer, and Grease. Now they find themselves on a remote planet, ready to discover the secrets of an ancient vault. You can already never, customize? I've never known a forgetful droid. Oh yeah, sorry, please no tips for spoilers. I, I need to not ask, I'm sorry, I need to not ask right now. I'll go back and figure it out when the time comes. There we go. Okay, so when BD was leading us, we couldn't use the map. I was wondering what was going on there. So we know we have a boss back there. We've got a blocked path. What is that indicating? Something's available up there. Definitely Siri. She retired from being a witcher and ended up abandoned workshop. It must be, yeah, that's what you guys were referring to. The abandoned workshop has to be where I fix the lightsaber. Yeah, Duckface, Gav, and Mad Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in and Anon as well. Hmm. I want to make sure I'm exploring and finding as much as possible. Hey, a chest. Order 66 was not a happy meal. Supplies. Where are you going? Sir? Did you find something, BD1? New emitter? You can change lightsaber parts on workbenches throughout the galaxy and on the mantis. I think I had to get that first anyway, before I changed. Okay, that's so that we're able to get back down, but let's actually try going up first. Oh, no, sorry. Let's change our... Yeah, yeah, let's change the lightsaber. Yeah, so now that we have a shortcut, let's go back through here. And try this. Yes. But I wasn't able to do this because I had to acquire that part up there first. Yes. Are we leaving him alive for now? I'll come back to him later. I don't think I have anything. Oh, I can change. Wait, what? Premium? Premium content? The premium content. I feel like I would go green before I go red, you know? Like, uh, once red's available, we'll probably... Actually, I don't think you are allowed to have red. But I definitely would have green over blue. The emitter. Oh, you guys know I like that gold. I like that gold. Pay to win. Well, what's weird is I didn't... know. I didn't buy the... Um, I didn't buy the... Deluxe edition. I admit it. I bought the deluxe edition for RE4, but I did not buy it this time. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I did not. Patty, welcome in. Mmm. You always loved it green because of Luke's lightsaber in Return of the Jedi. I also was going like green is one of my favorite colors. So I didn't pre-order it. I just bought it today. I literally just bought the regular version on Steam today. So I, I don't understand this. You know? And I made an entirely new EA account. So there's no way. I always go green. Yeah, okay, I read that one. Pay to bling. Green to match the saber. All right, Raj. I think that is a good time to use green. It also kind of changes up the background behind me. Looks like Christmas now. Yeah, I will know. So I actually, I bought it. When I first got to play it, I bought it, the game for my brother. And I played it um, through his copy. But then I just bought this on Steam, so I don't understand, because I didn't get the Deluxe Edition. AJ, thanks for the follow. Welcome in as well. Premium content. I feel like I kind of like the corresponding switch. But you can get kind of funky with it. I kind of, you know what? No, I kind of like the Jaro. Yeah, let's do the Jaro. 
something about that base with it. Hmm. The sleeve. I can't change the sleeve? Yes. Okay, so you can just make it, like, all match. I feel like this wouldn't actually be the best grip, though. You know how this kind of has... I feel like these two are really good for gripping it. This one, I feel like, would be easy for it to slip out of your hands. Yeah, oh. We can rotate it, too. Oh, but this one's broken on the... Oh, it doesn't matter what you have. I don't remember. How did our... Did our lightsaber get injured when we were... Escaping? And I didn't pick up on that? I'm gonna go with that base, actually. Mm-hmm. What that lightsaber do? Oh, the, the blade is injured, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a living, breathing thing. What do you mean? We can change the aloe. Oh. Okay, so I am going gold because you guys know I'm a gold girly. But... Hmm. Now that I know you could... It doesn't matter what this one is. This is more for, like, the overall appearance. Mm. I think the other significant th thing too though for keeping it as Jaros is that was his Jedi Master so I, I kind of want to honor him in that regard by keeping it. I did change the switch but the other two parts are staying true to Jaro. Don't go red. Never. Whoa! Yes, I didn't floppy pickle, don't tell me. Ender, what's up? Welcome That's in. Where we need to go. And I can feel it. C4, welcome in. Thank you guys for the follows. Imagine a chipped lightsaber. Maybe it's chipped from I don't know. It had to have been chipped before we even received it. Or at least before we picked up playing as Cal. <laughs> Look at him dancing there. Do we The nice thing about this game, too, is what I miss now, I can always go back to. I'm Scary fairly again? certain. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with it, Performer. You mapped everywhere we've been. Available, there were a few things blocked back there. Yeah, I mean, I can tell you that I think when it comes to... Look, when it comes to, like, fictions, you know how, like, a lot of people are like, oh, are you Star Wars, Star Trek, or Lord of the Rings kind of person? I definitely prefer more, like, Lord of the Rings. Space has kind of always been those things that, like, I did grow up watching Star Wars and Star Trek, but I was always drawn more towards, mm, I guess, more of the aesthetic of Lord of the Rings and things like that. But I like Star Wars. I'm not this, like, I can't sit here and tell you I'm like this crazy big fan, but I've always enjoyed the series. So I think even for somebody that's not like a hardcore Star Wars fan, this is an incredible game. Like it, I think it's a good thing for both. All right, up and down, got it. Mm. I can't make it over I have Star there. Wars tattoos, but love Lord of the Rings. I have Lord of the Rings tattoo, but nothing else. Harry Potter, oh, I don't actually consider Harry Potter in those three, that's interesting. Maybe that's like a, what you grew up with. I did grow up with Harry Potter, but I guess I, I look at what I grew up with more from what my parents showed me, I guess. And Star Child, thank you so much for the reset for six months in a row and welcome back in a middle age fantasy. That's a good way to put it. All right, so explore to find another way across. If we're looking at this, let's just head back. I don't think we've learned to bounce side to side unless he's gonna teach us. No, yeah, we'll learn that later. Rogue Squadron from the old systems. On for I think the only game I ever played was Battlefront. Mm, Star Wars I heard is considered fantasy rather than sci-fi. I don't remember why. Oh, does anybody have insight to that? This has to be the right way. Oh, I can use the force to grab it. Yes. But I thought this game and story was amazing. Yeah, Sunshine. I think they did a great job at making it resonate, not just with um, oh, previous right, like fans, but so new people there? as well. That was how Elden Ring was. <gasps> new poncho. Elden Ring was like that. I think Elden Ring expanded the love for like Souls games and um, like the Souls series to being beyond just who had played the originals. And fantasy, it always takes place in... Wait, wait, it's fantasy. It just happens to take place in space. So what's that fine line between being fantasy and sci-fi then? Based on the amount of times I watched. 
Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, I'd say Lord of the Rings is also what I love most, but there's something about Star Wars that keeps me coming back. I think it's something similar to, obviously Harry Potter is downright magic. I think Star Wars just feels magical. And so it kind of keeps me just coming back because it reminds me of my childhood in the best ways possible. I don't love that poncho. I don't know, I'm not a big poncho person. Some of them look good. This one, it just, the white is so, that's just, it's gonna get dirty so quick. I, I don't trust myself. We haven't, oh, I just jumped across. The poncho swag, wait, let me loot the body. <gasps> Scan it, loot it. The bog rat. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't been reading these. Ah, sci-fi tends to be more accurate of understanding of science and physics. Sci-fi is basically somewhat grounded in reality. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. It's not just that it's set in space by any means. Um, and also, guys, thank you for the follows. There's been a couple. Looks like a bin. Why did I read it as dog rat? I, you're telling me that's not kind of cute? It's got a little, like, eye of Sauron ready. Will burrow into the ground as a deception before attacking. Easy to parry, avoid being surrounded. A common pest, the bog rat is a simple predator that feeds off small creatures like boglings. Their poor eyesight makes them easy prey to their natural enemy, the Ogdo, Ogdu, often attacking in packs. They will surround their foes in numbers, appearing to retreat. They are known to burrow below ground as a sly defense before springing to attack, surprising their prey. Their hardened skin makes them somewhat resistant to the lightsaber attacks. I like that they take the time to write all of this out. Like somebody's job was to create this. Um, and I'm sure that they probably, like in the ways that they attack or feed, they probably have some kind of real life reference to another creature. They remind me of meerkats, but way more aggressive. Se <laughs> Sever the tongue with a combination of force and lightsaber attacks. Highly aggressive, tremendous speed, powerful stamina, and a lightsaber resistant. Yeah, their skin looks really resistant to lightsabers, and we found that out too. Mm-hmm. The poor eyesight, but a massive eyeball. <laughs> Imagine that downfall. You get this massive eyeball, but you actually don't have good eyesight. Damn. What's the point? The rare is a fiendishly formidable abomination even deadlier than its common relative this hyper aggressive predator attacks with ferocity constantly maneuvering towards its prey to inflict greater injury at close range the creature's speed and stamina are unmatched making it difficult to parry and strike its lightsaber resistant shell straight on yeah that's what i was it kind of has that kind of like thick outer shell but it does say specifically to sever the tongue with a combination of force and lightsaber attacks, so maybe the best time to strike it is when it does that tongue out attack, you know? It looks so cute. <laughs> Going back to what we've discovered so far, so we have one out of six. See those things up there? I don't understand. Hmm. What happens is science reaches the point where that the dead can be reanimated. I definitely missed the other part to that. A bestiary that's good reading material in it. I kind of go back and forth. I think that Witcher... Let me meditate. The Witcher kind of spoiled us when it came to bestiaries. And I want to say bestiary, I know. Um, the wee beasties. It kind of spoiled us because it's seen through the eyes of Dandelion. And when it's told from Dandelion's standpoint, he always had this like comedic level to it. So I kind of liked how that was another part that kept the Witcher lighthearted. I think that this is meant to be more of a serious game. You do have those moments between interactions where the fact that Cal just generally gets in uh, all sorts of trouble. I think he just has a stroke of bad luck. So you kind of find some comedic moments in those sections, but there's something about like reading and whenever people make it sarcastic and just kind of like sassy in the readings, it tends to resonate with me more. Trips in, welcome back in. One eye gives you no depth This perception. tool was used by someone eager to reach the vault. Which probably means why. It's a little weak. Traveling to the vault. A tool used by a traveler who wanted to reach the mysterious vault. I wonder how long it took them to etch that in there. Or did they use a lightsaber? And how can you stop being a Jedi? I know she'll disclose that later. Don't actually answer that. But how can you be nearly headless? 
Shadow, thanks for the hydrate. And Fox, thank you so much for the reset for 42 months in a row. And welcome back in. And MVP and all of Atomic, guys, thank you for the follows, truly. Hmm. Yeah, quality rated on a Force Awakens stream. You said that she started it? I think she said she started it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. BB, run for it. Leave it alone. Yeah. I'm not losing all my XP from this. Is it following us? Okay, I don't think it's following us. Let me go look. Okay. Nope. 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 <laughs> I'll show you true terror. Hey, yes, guys, thank you. Welcome in. I know he's over to the side, but we should be fine. Yeah, I think she said she started it and they got frustrated with the parry system, which I completely understand. Can't get it to work. Depending on what level you start on, right? If you do story mode, the parry window is massive. Okay, he can't get it to work. Whoa, are we floating a little bit? It's kind of funky. A little funky. Oh! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Yes, Atomic. I'm super excited for it. Hence the refresher. Okay, let's go this way. Go this way. Can't just sneak up on a girl like that. Oh, good question. I think you're right. I think I do. Mm hmm. Yes, thank you. I hate motion blur. I want to keep camera shake, film grain. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with everything else. R3 meditate, get her safe here. Subterranean refuge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Cal is using the force now. I haven't used it yet. I probably need to go back there and use the, the force right there. Acid, no, this is not my first playthrough. This is in fact my second, but I kind of look at it like a first playthrough. If you knew me, you'd kind of understand it more. Like, the longer you're here, the, I think the more you realize. Is there a way to easy mode? Yes, they have the story mode. The story mode's perfect. Yeah, I think the more time you spend in the community, the more you start to understand how it's very possible for me to completely forget a game. I'm dead. There's no fall damage. There's absolutely no fall damage. Oh, I mean, after we saw him take that tumble and smack his entire body against that, uh, what, what was it, like rubble or whatever, hey, ship. One. Try climbing up here. It's when they're standing up like that. Go for their eyeballs. So there is something all the way up there, but I gotta get up there. I don't know if it's possible here. I thought that you could use that stuff to climb across, you know? Or maybe I have to wait to be able to jump side to side. We can still go this way. The T-pose of the creature. You say don't get cocky on the fall damage. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna start testing it like crazy. I don't think you're supposed to kill those. I know, I need to make sure that I'm continuing to reference the See, I need to get back over there. I'm go- oh, it's not terrible to explore this way. It's never a bad idea to explore. But I don't want to keep throwing myself at See bosses. In there? I can't. Will he teach us? He uses alien mind powers to Swiss cheese Maggie's game recall. Be one with the creatures. Try again. It's difficult, oh. Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It That's may good. seem impossible, but with persistence and the Force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. Now, I just want to look at his toes. To oh, sorry. I do like how they do this. So he unlocks memories, yeah. So he's unlocking his memories from his training. Again. Again. No. 
Reach my position. Oh, <gasps> here's a blast to the past. Maybe core memory unlocked. Does this not? This training room reminds me of the training room in X-Men Legends. When you're training as magma. <gasps> I did it. Persistence and the force is my ally. Nice. <laughs> all right, Just so it's a good thing that we tricks. did that. Now I should be able to go side to side, right? But I don't know. I can't go down this way. It's going to throw me back. Yeah. But this is how we get up to that item that we missed. Just like you. X-Men Legends is one of my all-time favorites. Just the memories, the split screen, the pain. Uh, Devis, Devastator, I think you can show me that shortcut Haynes. again. Guys, welcome in. Yes, so now we can access it. Reach the vault. I always found these flashbacks. Looked kind of silly since he's shorter, but his head looks the same size. I need to look at it again. I'll try to peep it. This would be such a cool skill to have. Oh. If you can do it correctly. <laughs> Sir. The wall run reminds you of Prince of Persia. I never played Prince of Persia. Let's just go right here to get up to this part first. Spoilers! Spoilers! Exactly, Ninja. Alright, this should still be able to bring us back up there. The wall run is just kind of finicky because it starts to give out. Like, you can only do it for so long. I panic and jump too late. We get a head start. Nice. Memory. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Run to Dagobah. Run to Dagobah. A bag left by somebody who came here from Coruscant. They were strangely frustrated with the Jedi Council for some reason. I cannot imagine why. But Luke, not ready are you. But there's a city in... I think I see Ginger. Hold on. Quagmire, guys, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Should be the spot. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got, it's like pops in my head all the time. But oh, Luke, not sorry, ready, you're you. Did you find something, BD1? Lightsaber switch acquired. There's a city in the clouds where they're keeping my crew. A Jedi gotta do what a Jedi gotta do. I can't do it with this though. Is he the force? No. The shortcuts, ah, uh, this way. Mmm, block it. Oh yeah! Oh, we finally saw his, um... We finally saw it! Were he camouflaged, or kind of? Uh, maybe not. Yes, old bones. You guys have hydrated me so much, I have to run to the bathroom. Yeah. I need to go back and watch them. We need to watch the- Oh! Run, 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 run! Get out of the way! Alright, I get this is not the way I meant to go, but now I'm kind of stuck here because of that creature! Go, 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 go! <laughs> I'll jump across, I'll jump across. He's the bar. Yeah. Mmm, Bossimus, welcome back in, by the way. Okay, so we were on the right path. We just have to go down here and run along it right here. Got it. Grab Ginger on the way back. Of course, of course. Shortcut unlocked. Uh, Mac and Flying, guys, welcome in. The Great Divide. Ooh, all right, we've fought those before. Oh, there's that giant thing that um, we saw from the side, too. So the ship's all the way back here, yeah. Yeah. I hope we get to... Yeah, we should be able to go... It's not a boss. There's... It's schmog. Is that a giant frog? Lif, what's up? Welcome. <laughs> like a little roly polies. I like that you can be completely sur like. Hold on, let me test it. If I'm behind, if he's behind me, you can still block it. Ow. Now he's gonna kill me. <laughs> How do you use a stim? PD one stim. Nice. 
Skill point acquired too. It seems like you actually get skill points fairly easy. BD, come on, scan it. About that creature? Well the done. Splocks. The Splocks attack in large groups and are able to contort. Evasive strikes but easily killed, Splocks are large, agile insects usually found in groups and known to launch coordinated attacks to overwhelm their prey. They are um, omnivorous and use small, thin, Sprite? Sprite-like wings to hover over terrain. They're able to contort their shape to quickly stagger their enemies, providing time for others in the pack to strike. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like... Oh, man. Oh, what are those? Um, what are those crabs? They're not... It's not, uh, They're at the beaches all the time, but they're buried in the sand, but it's not like a normal crab. A horseshoe crab? Is it a horseshoe crab? Bradley JM. Guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Yeah, I think it's a horseshoe crab. Oh my gosh. He bounced up. Nice. Alright, just jump over it. Is it a sand crab? Not a hermit crab, no. No. Ooh, the two for one special. Mr. Crab. Money. How do you feel? When Javi was the main character. Oh, Javier? Javi, sorry. That's funny. I was not thinking. I just was not thinking about um, Walking Dead. I liked it. All right, before Wait, I die. Help. I'm going to die to little sand crabs. The stim only regenerates half your health. There should be a meditate here, or at least close. You look so Sorry lost when you fight. I am. But standing up to that I am. Breath, pretty brave. I guess I'm just like confused because I'm I'm still trying to understand the combat system. Like I understand it, but I just have to practice it more. You're acquiring new lightsaber parts fairly quickly. I just wouldn't have expected that. Anything down there? I need a meditation location first. Gotta get the meditation location. As a vocation. Um, I guess I'll continue down this way. Oh, yeah, because now we can run this way. Okay, we've been here before. That's right. No, I think it's a horseshoe crab. Yeah, Brando. Yeah, I actually liked Javi. I did. I didn't mind the change. I know a lot of people are specifically... There it is. Oh! No, it's a sense echo. Clever. Someone made camp here. They were excited to discover a giant creature that lives close by. A binog, they called it. A binog? Research camp as well. Traces of a camp used by somebody excited to study a large creature they referred to as a binog. I kept spinning around in the fight. I'm lost. Um, yeah, I know so many people love Clem and I think that she is awesome and I loved her story, but I didn't mind seeing it from somebody else's perspective. I thought I offered like a really different experience for what other people go through during that just crazy situation. I think we should go that way first because it'll be hard for me to get back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dark side. Dark side at high noon. This way. Everybody liked- oh, also Hug. Hug, thank you so much for the reset for nine months in a row and welcome back in. We lost the bleeps, we lost the sweeps, and we lost the creeps. Along the way. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much for the continual support. And Colonel as well. Colonel Gumby. Thank you for three months of continual support as well. The scomp link has to be repaired before we can access that one. The mosquitoes start to attack you as well. Da -na -na -na. I see the meditation part. Okay, I know I can meditate over there. This music kind of sounds like when, uh, like the Lord of the Rings music around the ring. Validate only dying 13 times. Here's to many more. That was before we even got here. I haven't even died here yet, I think. Please do not fail me. Huh. And don't throw another creature. Racy there. Racy. Oh, it's on. 
You think the running's goofy? Hold on. I guess a bit of a Naruto run, kind of, I guess. No, I guess the Naruto run, your arms don't move, does it? I don't We're think it's that, yet. I don't think it's that goofy. Okay, okay, you probably would have won. Not probably. the gumdrop buttons, not the mosquitoes. Okay, meditate real quick before I die. You guys are hydrating me so much. Mardio, what's up? Welcome back in. How's it going? Was the beep creep? I think it was from Spaceballs, but I've never seen Spaceballs. I know. Don't look at me like that, chat. We've talked about this before. I'm sorry. I'm an embarrassment. I haven't even died here yet. Saber teeth. All right, one skill point. Interesting. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like, I would have expected some of them to cost you. Tots, what's up? Welcome back in. Thank you. Mm. I've never, I'm sorry, I've never seen it. Maybe that's what we watch. We have to pick out our movie for May. Ah, elbows in, Cal. Come on. Empowered, slow, holding. I think I want to go into force. I wonder if there's, there's probably, arguably, the a better skill tree for... No, I wouldn't say just for Grandmaster. Your skill tree is very much based on your play style. And I'm gonna uh, like go in there and kind of smack him around a little bit. I thought I'd stop by and say hi. Hey, wait, I almost missed you. Welcome back in, no worries. Uh, I know I've never seen Spaceballs. <laughs> what is that? No, so okay, done, Spaceballs. We'll watch it in May in the Discord. Next question. Uh, where do we send the Spaceballs disc? <laughs> Blu-ray, DVD, or digital? Oh my goodness, the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray. So I'm leaning towards lightsaber. I think give me one more day and I won't be dying nearly as much nor receiving as much damage. I need like one more day to kind of acclimate. Maybe even like two. Hey, Nan, thank you so much for the gifted sub to RBV too. Ah, where do we send the Spaceballs merch? <laughs> We're already spending the merch. Cal's defense are improving, allowing him to take less block stamina damage from incoming attacks. Cal's okay, let's run. Yeah. Probably max that HP just real quick. Just put a little bit into survival before we go offensive, you know? In two days, you will have finished the game. It is not that short. How? Wait, what's the average playthrough? Is impressed I can follow so many chatters. <laughs> I feel like today I haven't been doing a great job at it. At least at the beginning. I, I feel a little bit better now. Mmm, yes. If anyone wants to know if Cast has seen a movie, insert title and the answer is no. Good job. What's up? Welcome back in. All right, guys, give me one second. You guys have hydrated me like more than any other stream. So give me a second. I'm going to run in the bathroom, see if I can grab Ginger, and then we'll get back into it. I think somebody asked. We'll be doing like a normal five-hour stream today. So probably going until about seven. But yeah, give me one second. Star Wars. Ah, got you. Welcome back into. All right, I'll be right back. I waited too long, so Ginger didn't want to come back out. <laughs> I took too long. She went back and started falling asleep again. Uh, Drew, AC, and Marsh. Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. Oh, I should have put the heart rate monitor on. <laughs> no more heart rate monitor. And Brett, you guys are killing me with this hydration. You're killing me. Yeah. She's slowly coming alive. Oh, do you see this? I got my Star Wars shirt on. Ready to go. I haven't worn this shirt in a while, actually. All right. Gar, what's up? Welcome back into. I did. I did tell her about treats. Look, I'll even look. I'll even shake it. And if I see her shadow, I'll go grab her. I'll see. We'll see. Duck Dodgers, thanks for the follow. Welcome in as well. I'll let you know. She might not move. We'll see. Yeah. Mm hmm. I actually, I love t-shirts, but I, I actually don't have nearly as many like gaming t-shirts as I want. Gaming merch is always hit or miss. I mean, this one is more for the TV show, but it has like one of the old, I think it's one of the old, like. Yeehaw! I'm a cowboy! I'm a cowboy. The face for, this is the poster for, I can't, this one might be Emperor Strikes Back. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it on the back side in a while. You know, I see the front side more. Ooh. I'm a cowboy. Let me go behind it first. Oh. Scan it. Mm. Nice job. Inscriptions. 
The vault is built out of carnite, a hard stone rich in materials. Its inner walls are decorated with metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyphs don't return results in any in any galactic data bank, suggesting the language may have been lost to time. Curious. Curious. Yeah, the merch will be back. So the five year anniversary shirt's gonna be available here soon, like I think the middle of May, so that you guys can actually wear it on the anniversary day with me. Ah, Jang. Have a good one. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Yeah, Emerson, thank you for the follow and Anon with the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Hoob. Bye. Offerings. Nope. Offerings. I love the little inscriptions, and I also like that they're not too lengthy as well. These relics contain materials that aren't native to, is it Bogano? Bogano? Their fragile structure indicates they were purely decorative, potentially objects of religious sac uh, significance. It's possible they were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Hmm. Hoop, seriously, welcome back in. How are you doing? Yeah, but what if we want to wear the shirt the day after your anniversary? Well, it is your shirt by that point, but you can wear it any day then. Yeah, we're doing Jedi Survivor 2. We're doing bag to bag. You already know. And then it's Mass Effect after, so this is going to be an epic. This is an insane year. Witcher 3, RE4, these, Mass Effect, 09. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Run to Dagobah. Run to dig <laughs> Just have BD look at us. All right, the vault. The structure has been here for centuries. It appears the only way to open the vault is by using the force. I'm gonna continue to read those. I know that a lot of them are already obvious or have already been told to us, but I love, if you've been here for a couple streams by now, you know that I love reading anything we acquire in the game. Yes, one day I'll do Ghost of Tea and Days Gone. It's just, they're, both of those games aren't really on the forefront or like the- Amazing. They're kind of more on the back burner, but they are both games I'm very interested in playing. There's just some that are taking precedence. Think about how long this would take to create. And I see that now, Spazzy, like having to squeeze through that tiny area makes total sense for the reloading screen. Huh, whoa. Hmm. You can enter from both sides of the column. No! I didn't see something that did indicate you could. There's three right there and a circle. Something is missing right there. We're doing Mass Effect 1 through 3, all of them. And even look at the carvings on the floor, too. How do they make sure they're so symmetrical? Mm. To define this, yeah. I agree, Doug, I agree. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left you know? behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This hmm. place, this. I feel like he looks vault familiar. Is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron. Maybe Stargate? Containing a list of that. the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and mm. understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. The Zephyr? In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. We're always going from one Good place luck, to another Jedi. place. And may the force be, be with, with you. I got chills.
Imagine being in his situation. Yes, you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now. Without any purpose, just hiding. Hmm. There's no way to live. Not for a Jedi. Did you say Dr. Phil? Right. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? No! <laughs> I think I like Cal's character more than most. A long time ago, Achievement Unlocked, Zepho Destination, um, more than a lot of other protagonists because he is very relatable. Like, obviously, we're not a Jedi or anything like that, right? But you see him go through his emotions and talk about things like loneliness or, you know, like trying to find this purpose and... Yeah. He just feels a lot more relatable than some main characters. Sir Rhino and Anon, thank you so much for the gift of Java. And country roads, welcome in. No, I feel like he looks like somebody else though, but it could have been Stargate, but I haven't seen Stargate in a long time, but maybe core memory. Mm. Geralt was so relatable for me, 100%. <laughs> Never mind, I wasn't gonna go there, but yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, wait, let me. I think there was not. I don't think there was anything else. But let's try this backside thing. <laughs> oh, that's how we went through in the, oh, oh, I went out the backside. Wait, no, or is this the, hold on. That's the front side, this is the backside. Okay, let's try going in the, through this way. Yeah, I don't, uh, Spazzy had let us know that. I don't think it's uh, relevant on the PC. Oh, now we're just in an endless loop. Yeah, just with, during the, for PlayStation purposes, I guess those tiny like slits and walls that you would crawl through was to insert to a see. loading spot, which is Sounds such a like clever use. We'll be waiting. Wee! I should have done my meditation. We can't die before I meditate again. <laughs> Am I Vicus? I can't die again. <laughs> Gotta go by. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me go meditate before we kill this guy. I know we're supposed to. I know that's like a... Woo! Take me home, country road. <laughs> yeah. Guy looks like... Oh, uh, that's what somebody... Life, life backwards. Yeah, somebody was saying that he's in Stargate, but I haven't seen Stargate in such a long time ago. And I saw somebody else's question. Yes, I have picked back up Blood of Elves. Blood of Elves. I picked it back up. I started reading a few chapters, but I'm still just on the second book. I had to finish Mistborn, which I did. And then I kind of, I honestly haven't done a lot of reading. Last week I did a little bit, but never understood this entrance. The entrance of, go to the entrance of that. Oh, of the, um, I do want to try to fight him though. He burrowed. Get out. Hey, never gonna hitch me. Uh, the entrance for the temple, I'm assuming. Mm. This way. Okay, it is time. Yes, I been no, I finished Mistborn. I did not finish the series. No, we just we just finished Mistborn. Yeah, we're just doing the first one in the book club. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the mystery novel next. We have one more meeting to discuss the whole book. Meditate for mental health. And posterity. Oh, it's not the boss frog. Wow, that looks just like, um, that attack looks just like, oh! Oh! I need help. Stim me up, baby. Okay. Attack its tongue when it does that. That chomping attack looks just like the... Ah! The creature on the bridge of DS3. Oh, man. Oh! Yes! Practice parry. 
Let's parry an instrument. Me over here not parrying at all, knowing damn well this entire game is all about parrying. Yes, yeah, I we just did Miss Porn. Which was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would like to continue the series down the road, but I've got to go back and finish Witcher. I have to finish Witcher. Two days to acclimate. See, we haven't played a game where parrying is kind of essential in a long time. This parry an instrument. Wash bear. That was not yeah. parryable. That was not. Uh, Stim. You guys are gonna get me in trouble. I need to get his tongue. I think if we can. Oh! I think if we can attack his. Nope. Oh. All right, stim me up, baby. Toss Look it. at the tongue reach! Mm, nice, there we go, there we go. Roll out, roll out. In. Nice, nice, all right. Oh, not the boss, but that was still pretty good. I just gotta work on using parry effortlessly with everything else. Dodging, rolling. We already read this one, right? No, this is different than the other. Oh, Wash Bear, seriously, thank you so much for two years, even though it's been so much longer. And Slim with the two gifted subs to the channel and community. White Wolf, Real, and Drew, guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. I think that this is going to be really similar to this guy. I guess they are slightly different. This one probably has thicker skin, you know? Slim, thank you so much. The Ogdu is a highly threatening alpha predator at the top of the Bogano food chain. This creature attacks with the adhesive tongue capable of reaching eight meters in length that latches onto its prey and then pulls it into its jaws. This form of strike is particularly effective against most foes due to its thick head. It is able to resist a straight on lightsaber attack and is extremely dangerous at close range, often leaping at a target in close distance. You know what we need to get next? We need, we need to unlock the uh, jump over. It should be in, I know it's in a skill tree. I think it's in my lightsaber skill tree. It's like if I double, I should be able to double jump eventually. But maybe I'm imagining that. Maybe that you, maybe you can't double jump? Don't answer that. No, Dr. Zeus, this was like 2019. And yes, please no tips, tricks, or spoilers, guys. I think there's some stuff down there. Oh. Is that your friend? BD1, is that your friend? Mm. Mm. The mysterious skeleton. The structure of these bones suggests a large reptilian creature. An analysis of elements within the bones date them as old as a thousand years. Even the small like symbols and drawings. I like the details that they put into the menu. The sound. Your abilities over here, the data links that you have. It's really cool. We got four out of four. Tactical guide. Done. One out of six, but we got four out of 16 of those. Yo, this is not old at all. No. But we're going back through it in preparation for the new one that comes out on the 27th? Did you guys say 24th or 27th? I can never remember. The door's locked from the other side. Oh, that's a quick way to get back to the, yeah. A quick way to get back to our... This is gonna be blocked too. BD sounds like a disease. BD1, no! Not BD. BD might be one of my favorite. Ask Connor, guys, welcome in. My friend, it appears the Cepho had some interest in death up here. Strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hmm. This has to be. Is this pretty easy on story mode? It's got to be easy on story mode, right? Dothamer? 
My friend, I recently discovered that Zepho had some interest in Dothamer. Strange for a culture that had any sort of fascination. What, he just said that, but. Dothamer. The 28th? I thought it was the 27th. Okay, we might actually finish this before the 28th. We can't open it. Oh, we can. Nice, speedy. And also scan something else. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still on the starting experience. Or the starting planet. Do people normally blast through this? A faded mural located on Bogano, not far from the Zepho vault. It likely represents a planet, but the artwork is too damaged to make out any specifics. So I think the next... I'm pretty close to another skill point, I think. Meditate. Life, force, and stim canisters have been restored. Yeah, I want to say it's this one over here. Should be... Is it this one? Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Yes, that is what we want to hit next. And we're pretty damn close to being able to acquire it. Aquino, welcome back in. It's super easy on story mode. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Okay. I, I don't think we should take on the boss yet. I think I should come back. I just feel like I'd be smacking my head against it. But I can go this way now, so let me see if I can find something new. Keep exploring a little bit more. Aquina, seriously, thank you for an entire year of support and welcome back in. A couple days late, but it looks like what I got. It does not feel like it's been a year. This actually works out. We're just going back to the plane anyway. Ah! No! 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 What? I didn't want to jump back here. I have to go get that XP back. The fate had other plans. I don't want to fight. I don't want to tactically retreat. No. Blue, welcome back in and thank you so much for the 100 bits. He had other plans. First one I saw. Welcome in. This is what you're going to see. Now I have to fight it. I have to at least smack it and get my stuff back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The game declares you're fighting the boss. Oh. I'm just going to get farmed for deaths here by this goober. I even, I even maxed my health a little bit more. Not maxed it, but I even increased my health. What? <laughs> Star knows. <laughs> this mother... Mm -hmm. And while they're there, and while I'm there, I might as well kill it. Look, souls experience or not, this is, no. Marzu, what's up? Welcome back in. We're still in starting planet too. I'm not about to fight this. <laughs> Did you fight it right away? Frog's about to meditate. Give it back, give it back. Run, 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 run! <laughs> I'm gonna try to go to his backside and then let it dash forward and just not have to deal with it. Sorry for distracting you with the one year. <laughs> I guess it was. Was I reading your thing and then I fell in? He's not even that hard, but you do. Like right now, I just... That dash attack? I don't even know if you can parry. I don't think you can. Cal. The only other thing that I dislike, and I know why you have to make it that you grip onto it, because there's other, like, some plates, some spots you have to, like, drop or you can jump up. But I hate that you have to... Like, grab. Where are you jumping to? The next planet? What is going on? My XP might not be worth it. It's hurting you for the spam attack. Well, I'm not trying to spam attack right now. I'm just trying to press B to get around him. London, thank you so much for the gift of seven, Marzi. All right, go, go, go. Can I just... All right. We're just leaving. We're leaving. I will. I'll get XP else. We'll get it elsewhere. <laughs> Magical note. It's a welcome back in. It was better when I. It was better when I. I actually didn't. 
do half bad when I didn't realize I was about to fight him. Now that I expect it. Uh-uh. We're out. <laughs> Sway, thanks for the posture check in. Kali, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row and welcome back in. Nope, we're out. Have my XP, friend. I didn't want it anyway. Mm. Is this why you're retired? Have, did you guys see my fights with the Berserkers on God of War normal mode? Washed up. I will, I will come back though. Maybe I can get to that real quick. I want to see if there's any other things I can explore. Moving out. Moving out. I don't trust that I can make that jump. Mm? Trust your judgment, chat. Trust your judgment. <laughs> Mark, what's up? Welcome in. Or it's Mayor. Mayor, welcome in. Stupid frog. Is that the right way to go? Yeah. I'll come back for him later. Yeah, all in due time. We'll tactical retreat. Brave Sir Robin ran away. Uh, we've already been here. Yeah, let me just head to the ship and progress to the next spot. Yeah. We'll come back here. I think I vaguely remember that there's something else that brings us back to this planet. What? What? McBender? The quiz? Boggling tunnel. Lit Ubers and bleed, guys. Thanks for the follows and welcome in. Boggling tunnels connect their nests and serve as a natural defense. We've already seen this, I thought. Or maybe not, because we didn't have BD1, yeah. Able to dig five meters per day. Boglings collabor uh, collaborate with heckles, or large packs, spending approximately one-third of their lifespan digging the intricate tunnel network. It's kind of like ants. It's kind of giving me, like, the intricate tunnels of ants. They're insane. Hopefully she trusts him. Braves Maggie Maran away. <laughs> you passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Oh, shit. Come did. on board. We'll talk inside. Yeah, the last two oh, ones... BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Batoli Mean Fabric? Not really. Oh, <laughs> I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Oh. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Mm. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. I can't remember if she's actually good or this is all a trick. Because some of her verbiage just seems interesting. Like I could see it from an ally or a foe's response. Jupiter, welcome this back. Is Master Obi -Wan Kenobi. Don't actually answer I that whatsoever. I that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Was it? Okay, no problem. Let's get it. Obi Wan. Except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. Recognize you his voice something anywhere. about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? Now, I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look, before we do anything... You had this whole time to make food. I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? Hmm. I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long it's as a you're really alive, good answer. you will always have a choice. Are you with us? 
We're in. General Mirazefo. It's your choice. General Cannoli. I forgot that you get to choose where you go to. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot there. I, again, I know this, I should know because I know that it's not my first playthrough, but I just, that's how little I remember. There's just something in her voice in some of the responses. Um, she seemed a little hungry to know if I found something specifically. I also want to know the significance of her necklace because I don't believe that they just put those kind of things in there. Like that stands out a lot compared to everything else um, around us or on other people. So I feel like there is something important there too, but maybe I'm overthinking that. This game is so good, Kami. Yeah, and guys, welcome in. I see a couple new follows and faces as well, guys, welcome. Um, rebuilding the Jedi Order and Moon, welcome back in. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Are you actually able to hang around? A couple hours, gotcha. Thank you. After revealing she no longer uses the Force, um, she sent Cal to an ancient vault. Along the way, Cal found a friendly droid named BD-1 who joined his quest. On their journey, Cal reached out to the Force, remembering his ability to wall run. Inside the vault, BD projected a message from Master Eno, detailing how he hid a holocron containing a list of known Force-sensitive children within. To access it, Cal must find the tombs of three Zepho sages. With BD's aid, Cal embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. Mm-hmm. One thing that susses me out is that it just feels so convenient that she showed up on the red. That's, that's the most, that's like the part that we haven't addressed. Has he even asked her how they found him to begin with? After watching Geralt for three months, why is my brain insisting Cal needs to have a beard? In the next one, I think he does have a beard. He's gone beyond the peach fuzz yeah everybody keeps saying mad tv i've never heard of this skull and fist guys welcome in hey grease what's this thing what planter you've never Training. seen a terrarium before mm. sure but don't they usually have plants in them she did already answer well, i've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy but you know you could pay me back with some seeds the second sister i thought you hated nature when it's out there you bet you but when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of umbar and glass that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Yes, side quest. Side quest. Your motto, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. Thank you for reminding me of that. So she was tracking the second sister. Still watching the cutscenes and missing things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She feels sus to me. I mean, you guys know that I'm mistrusting of any character that I run into. Uh, okay. The right time, the whole like, even if your answer is like, we were tracking somebody else, right place, right time, it still comes across like two, those look like little strawberries, like a combined like prickly pear and a strawberry or a cactus fruit maybe, maybe like a cactus fruit. Mm, I guess we already talked to him. That was like the only thing we could talk to him about. Their skits. I wonder if we found any seeds and I didn't realize, oh, we can, a prickly pear. Isn't that prickly bear? Am I thinking the pawpaw? Mmm, a dragon fruit. Guys, thank you for the follows. Kate, um, CS, and worse, guys, welcome. Well, we would be close to having another skill tree, but I fell into a hole. <laughs> I fell into a hole. We did get new parts, though. Let's check out our new parts. How much did I enjoy the RE4 remake? I think I would have enjoyed it more if I let more time uh, pass between my playthroughs, but I still enjoyed it a lot. I still enjoyed it. I would say it was about a 9 out of 10 for me. <laughs> Which is my rating for everything. <laughs> I think there were sleeves and materials. Yeah, ooh. Ooh. That's kind of nice, because it's like a two for one. You get like the aesthetics of no grip, like this but you still get the grip on the bottom. Very practical. Valor and wisdom. I don't think they, they don't actually grant you any additional stuff, correct? Don't, wait, don't actually answer that. I've learned there's no such thing as coincidences. Ah, uh, how many of those 18 deaths were to, wait, 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 as an astro, wait, what was that? I missed that. How many of those deaths were for to what? I didn't get another one of these. Did I get another switch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Valor and Wisdom too. These must all be from the same spot. Most of the deaths were at the beginning when I forgot how strong Perry was in this. 
I think maybe that's a little bit of a difference too, is at least in my opinion, parry wasn't absolutely necessary to get through the Dark Souls game. Except for Sekiro. Sekiro was the first one that kind of forced you into having to get comfortable with parrying. But you could still maybe get through without it. This game, I feel like you have to. I feel like it's similar to Sekiro where you kind of need to if you want to successfully, effortlessly work your way through. But again, we're doing it on Grandmaster too, so it's just a different beast. I'm baiting y'all with so many questions, but it's how I let you guys know, like, my thought process. You know. All right, we can just talk to him. I'm busy. I gotta figure out what to cook next. Okay, never mind. Mmm, we have two locations we could go to. I'm assuming we would have only had one option if we had not discovered that mural, I think. Yeah. No, we did not only get 21 saves. No, no, no. Oh, 21 deaths? I had 21 deaths, I think. I got way more. Just that guy, Rex, and Wolf, and Ray. Guys, welcome. Mm -mm. Picking our next destination? Follow your instincts. Follow my instincts. <sighs> I can't remember if this game is like where you should continue on the main path for a little bit. You know how there's some that it's like, all right, start the main objective for a little bit and then explore after. 62% explored actually is pretty good. Choose the favorite color. Go <laughs> by your favorite color. Tobin, welcome. Yeah, I never got used to or got, wait, I never used or got parries in Souls games. I don't think it's necessary for one through three, but then Sekiro kind of forced that. Maggie rates every game nine out of 10 in Queen Quarry. No, I've definitely rated that different. We can always go and see, and if we get like pee pee smacked right away, then we can just come back. Let me view the map. That's a good indication too. I doubt, I wonder if we need another mechanic to even go over here. Like I'm fairly certain that we will get a double jump at some point. Main objective. Main objectives typically provide more. Please, have you ever thought of redecorating? The mantis? Why would I? The mantis. Well, wouldn't hurt to throw some art on the walls. Something new to look at. Mm. Since when do you care about art? I guess I can I've sit in here. Liked it. When I was younger, I used to pour through every piece I could find at the Jedi Army. Yes, you get a custom lightsaber. Did you critique them too? I admired them. When I became a seeker, I got to see a few in person. So many different cultures. That's so in the cool galaxy, to see in the game. Each one had their own unique works of art. It was breathtaking. I want to watch the scene, but I want to listen to her too. But you kind of have to listen to her to way to follow your. Now, kid, it's time to land. No, we're not following our instincts. I just think that, I, I still think there's some skills that I need to unlock first. Well, like, you know how we learned, we discovered wall uh, wall running? I still feel like there's a few more we have to learn to make us more useful in other locations. And I think the best way to discover those are through main storyline progression. Mm -hmm. Some skills to pay the bills. Dun, 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 dun. A storm brewing mm -hmm. down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, yeah Dothamore is gotta be hard. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Cold. Yeah, the floor. Wait, there's a floor window? I must have not looked at the floor window. Oh. I have to check it out. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. He has really nice teeth. Is anybody wondering where he got his orthodon his orthodontics? Like he had to have braces. Okay, There's no on, way. Hold on, hold on. Perfect teeth. Oh, oh. 2.0. Huh. Oh, Perfect is it a cold and it is a cold environment, isn't it? Easy the money, snow. Baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference mm -hmm. on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Run to Dagobah. Why? Why is this? I gotta go listen to the raps after this. Otherwise, I won't stop listening. Now, over here. Over you here. You did good work on Bagano. Oh, I see it. Hang on. Are you talking about right there? Yeah. It's a nice little showpiece it's kind of like oh it's like the moon roof in your car but it's your okay what would you call that if it's a moon roof in a car what is it if it's a, at the 
the base. Mm, sunroof, moonroof. He's an alien. Maybe they just have perfect teeth. Maybe aliens just have perfect teeth. Moon floor? Is it the moon floor? It's still a moon floor. It's just not a roof. It's a moon floor. A peeping floor? <laughs> the cockpit's actually really nice. Yeah. I saw that. Chevelle, Lob, Cav, and Sin, and Wolf, guys, welcome in. The dirt floor. I'm assuming, wow. I'm assuming that it's like a normal cockpit where it's like, you see all of these buttons and that's the problem is you actually do need to know how to work all the buttons. That looks like the thing out of Alien Isolation. Mm hmm. Is it structurally sound? Oh, does it sound different when you step over that than the normal? Hold on. Probably not. I doubt. <gasps> they did. Right? Yeah, dude, good on them. I would have never thought to test that until you guys talked about it. No, 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 Moon, get out of here. I'm not falling for this shit. Good detail, yeah. I see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. The I realism. Think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a yeah. uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. It's not a terrible spot to be in, though, because it means that there's not a lot of leverage on him. You know, like the sisters, they can't really have a whole lot of leverage on him because Prof is dead. And I guess he doesn't, I mean, now he has this crew, so I'm sure he'll form an attachment to, you know, her and, uh, is it Grease? Is it Grease? Good. I always think Greasy. Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Oh, Who are nothing. you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe Assumptions. I'll teach you one day. When you're done with your... Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. Oh, do you think there's gonna be more? I have to go back and watch the trailer. I wonder if there's gonna be more scenes where we're flying in the next one. Like piloting a ship. I can't remember if there's a lot in this one to begin with. Discount these and Eric, come on. Please. Oh, <laughs> New okay. bugs, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. What do we find? Firefly's better. We need to. I need to rewatch Firefly. BD1 skin acquired! Hold up! Wait! I forgot that BD had different. <gasps> we can make him look like a Transformer. Little Bumblebee action. This is giving me Mass Effect, like N7. Aliens, right? Isn't it red and white? I feel like that's the N7 stuff. Hmm? Zero, what's up? Welcome back in. And Rob, welcome in. Thank you. No Transformer. I like the blue leader. I do like the red though. Red's a nice pop color. It, oh no, it does look like Wally. I never will be able to unsee that now. The bumblebee. Darth. <laughs> no new. I think the blue is just, it's not, no. He would blend in in this environment probably better. But I like the red. I just, red is a really nice pop color. It's bold. My problem with changing BD1's color to begin with is I get attached to what I originally see him as or in. Same thing with Cal. So I feel like that's that's him. Like it's the same thing as, is it BB8 is it orange? You know, it'd be like seeing BB8 as something different than white and orange. I guess we're gonna go through there. Yep. Ah, but there might be something over here first. I find it so interesting. There's so many opinions about the running. I guess I've never looked at a lot of... Oh, that stormtrooper. I guess I've never focused on, like, running in a game hey, or movement. Maybe it's just, like, the movement in general. Watch out, PD. You don't look friendly. Oh, my goodness. The, uh... Oh, the dangerously... No. Uh, what are the... The large rats in Prince's Bride? That's what they're looking like. It's constipated run. Check it out. 
Skaz. Ah, uh, dangerously large rodent. No, uh, rodents of unusual size. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Holding on for dear life. <laughs> on to him, Pan. Pan, welcome back into the green one. Oh, maybe if we get green because it will match the lightsaber. Yeah, the rodents of unusual size. Capable of two different attacks. Will bite at the prey's heel or lock them down with a leap that cannot be blocked. Okay, that's good to know. So yeah, it's actually really important to read these because you can find out what they're susceptible to or what they can hit you with. Opportunistic, often surrounding prey when they are locked down. Scaz are the most commonly found in the shade and dark areas where they can maintain cooler body temperatures. Due to poor vision, they are especially vulnerable in bright light. They are most dangerous in packs, often biting and locking their jaws onto prey, providing an opportunity for others to strike. Very kind of similar to... Hmm, yeah, well, most of the creatures we've run into do rely on a pack mentality. Stormtrooper! Cow. He looks clumsy before she says that because I do want to focus on this because I'll lose it. Um, may attack efficiently. <laughs> may attack efficiently in large numbers. A lightsaber will reflect shots back at them. Imperial stormtroopers are the frontline soldiers of the Galactic Empire, conscripted from worlds across worlds across the galaxy. They have been trained to support the might of the Imperial War Machine and identify threats indiscriminately. Armed with a variety of weapons, including a long-range blaster. Rifle, they are most efficient in large numbers. Most efficient. Where they may prove overwhelming. And known for horrible aim. <laughs> Using the force may cause side effects with consumption. <laughs> J-Boy, what's up? Welcome in. I'm loving it. And Monzi, welcome Can back into. The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, mm -hmm. we would have been swarmed already. Yeah. Could they be looking for the tombs? <laughs> Purple! Purple, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the channel and community, and welcome back in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's hope not. Just got our convoy. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Anybody that got a gifted sub, guys, welcome in. I hope you enjoy the ginger remotes. I also see Ransom. Ransom with the reset for seven months in a row. Welcome back in as well. Thank you so much, Purple Iron. I hope you're doing well. No, Binks, this is technically the second, but total refresher before the new game. And overall, I don't remember a single damn thing. <laughs> Max and Mr. Guys, thanks for the followers and welcome in. I like how we're seeing some floral, like florals here. We need to look for the seeds also for Grease. The mossy rocks. You'd think the Empire could spend a little better time with better sights and better marksmanship training. I, with the mass amount of stormtroopers they have and just the, like they are totally expendable to them. I just have this feeling that their training's probably pretty short, just in general. Oh, scout trooper baton. I wouldn't have even seen that if he, if we didn't have an interaction with BD1. Nicholas, oh man. Imperial Lecture Baton given to troopers stationed in remote areas where unexpected threats may arise. These weapons were crafted from the same components as Clone War era Electro staffs, but have been updated, uh, but have updated Imperial modifications. Stormtroopers slap you in the suit. Good luck, bro. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa, look at my footprints. But only in select areas. What? It's like snowy shoes. Snowshoes. What's my favorite Star Wars movie? Oh. <sighs> Door locked from the other side. All right. So we do need to go down the main path. I just wanted to make sure we checked out this side. Mm, my favorite one. My favorite one to laugh at? Or my favorite one to Hey! Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa! He's jumping up. All right, I can't block it. I gotta use a stim. Help! Stim! He's running. Oh, did he sprint off the edge? That's. He should have launched off the edge. Honestly. All right, I need to learn to parry their basic no. attacks. I'm gonna have to use another stim. There we go. We got the parry on that guy. I should not be dying this easy. I'm taking so many hits. I think the stormtroopers at this point phased out the clones. 
Uh, I'm trying to... This is such a hard question for me, because I also haven't seen them in a while since I've been older. So I think what I would like... I think my favorite one now would be very different from my favorite one when I was... The last time I watched them, I probably was 14. Hmm... I'm thinking, sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I think I'd have to go. I always liked, so I always liked. I would almost say four, but I feel like that's not that, I don't know, I would probably say four. Revenge of the Sith, I could see that one. Hmm. I don't know if this is the right way to go. And then following, the following ones though, Rogue One. The following ones. Cozy guy, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. Yeah, fly guy, welcome back in, and thank you so much for 10 months of continual support. And bear with the gifted sub to pest control. Skungus? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Bear. <laughs> Why, you know, watch them once a year. I do watch Lord of the Rings once a year. I need a meditation point first. I need a meditation spot. Oh, but I can open this and maybe get a meditation? Yes. Yes! I should be able to meditate over here. I bet you it's inside of this. Return of the Jedi, because it was epic to see Luke with them. Ah! Win games, thank you so much for the 100 bits, by the way. Phantom Menace was pretty cool, too. The baby want. Anakin. I think 2 is my favorite one to laugh at, just because Anakin and Padme are just... Oh, okay. It's, like, awkward to go back and watch it. I just, there's... You find something, BD1? The chemistry is not there. <laughs> the chemistry is not there. Okay, I kind of like this one. I'll wear this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't actually... I don't think I've seen all of the latest Star Wars films. I think the last one I did watch was Rogue One. They're super cringe together, but in, like, a way that it's good. It's a good laugh. It's a good laugh. There's got to be at least one... Oh. BD1. Is there something supposed to be over there? There's all of these, so I'm just looking for a loot. I know there's probably nothing. Oh, no, yeah, check it out. Oh, wait, what? The last Jedi, the last Jedi. Um, Was Last Jedi after Rogue One? SR71, thanks for the hydrate, by the way. Did I watch Rise of the Skywalker? Let me put it like this. If I watched any of them, I have not remembered one that I've seen after Rogue One. Rogue One is the last story that I genuinely remember in my memory, probably because I didn't care for the other ones. I'd assume if I don't remember something, it can either go because it just wasn't, I was pretty, it was pretty indifferent to me. Or in games cases, it's kind of different. Games, I can really love a game and I still will forget a lot of the main points in it. I guess I just don't waste memory space with entertainment stuff too much. The chemistry was clearly, wait, wait. There, they got married and had kids, so clearly it worked. And his wife looked like Natalie Portman, so that did something right. <laughs> clearly there was some kind of chemistry there. Mmm, cringy chemistry. But I guess you'll never really understand somebody else's relationship, I suppose. I still just will never forget the, I hate sand. I know I can grab that, so I want to be able to... Maybe that's for something later, though. It's the material like you can grab, like it's definitely the infrastructure that we normally can grab onto, but maybe we don't have to. Rap City, thank you for the follow. And Anon with the gift of sub to Chody and outplayed with the resub for 13 months in a row. I know I'm kind of running around randomly. I need to find a meditation part. There's a meditation pod. I wonder if it was up on the top of that hill, but it's okay. We'll just go on and if I die, I'll get back up. The sequels aren't even worth watching. I should be able to reflect. Oh, hold on. Oh no, I was one away from reflecting it. It's quitting time. Did you just say it's quitting time? It's quitting time. Six God, go to the ship. To meditate back. I know there's a meditation point on the ship. I should have just ran inside real quick. Did I completely die? Yeah. When... I'm gonna take off the death counter. We don't want to see what it is at the end. Yeah, if I die, I die. I'm not doing like a challenge. Oh, let them kill that first. Let them kill them first. 
Ice wind, welcome in. Stop him. I there we go. Nice. Flawless. I can't shake him. Hey, I don't know why they're just one. pausing. <laughs> Look at the little windows. Maybe right here. There's probably a meditation point right up on the hill. Gets knocked down, but oh, she gets back okay. up. Mm -hmm. So what was in there? Mm -hmm. New emitter acquired. Duty and resolve. Wayward, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. And Dank, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I like the infrastructures here. BD1. Like they're subtle. Oh, we can actually go inside of it. No, we can't go inside of it. Just kidding. I like the makeshift steps as well. Oh, BD can scan something. Ah, uh, what does it say, BB? Jamaican, welcome back in. Very fed up with it. Also, that makes sense. He goes, oh, is that more than anything just a throwback to where he's from? This area is off limits. Imperial code 9434364. Uh, no selling or trading. Aries, thank you for the 200 fix. What are you doing? You should be celebrating your birthday. What'd you do today? Did you get any cake or anything? Any food? They've got batons. They're running somewhere else. Oh, they're worried about the wombat. Go this way. All right, there's a lot. I should probably try to isolate. Nope, nope. Sandy, hello. I want to see how I want to handle this. Okay. Let's go these guys first. Two over there. If I can get these guys to come over to me, maybe the other areas aren't alerted. You got donuts. Wow, it's about time they realized I was right here. The target. Very. Yeah. Oh. Spliced and sliced. Yes, it's Aries' birthday. Scanning again? Yeah, I did. I did, Sanger. I beat it, but I'll there's it still no tips, tricks, or spoilers because I really don't remember anything. Uh, Scout Trooper. Can block limited lightsaber attacks, but defense is easily diminished. Easily defeated in single combat, but dangerous in numbers. Imperial Scout Troopers are specially trained stormtroopers in service to the Galactic Empire for a range of missions. They are equipped with light armor for greater mobility and specialized helmets that allow for greater adaptability. Armed with electro riot batons, when blasters are identified as insufficient, they are especially skilled in melee combat, crowd controlled, and defense against a lightsaber defensive against it go left side so now that we know how much space we have to move around in before they notice us we can uh we can get a little bit more i would say aggressive and on the e offense skill point acquired take her and go i'll lead them away oh star oh star no hmm separated simpleton welcome back in by the way Slicey and dicey, a bag left by a family as they became separated. The father caused a distraction, allowing the mother to escape with their child. Mm. Okay, let's go through this way and then he'll come back down here. Oh, are we going to be sneaky about this? He should rotate back here. Wait, you want to scan right now, BD? Maybe. It's all lies. Just uses me for treats. Mind control. Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot. <laughs> oh god, I gotta, I gotta run. In accordance with Imperial Code 94364, no selling or trading without proper authorization or explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. General Markin, two, 201st Squadron. 2000 I just wanted this land. Is there somebody else? Tactical beard and spoopy. <laughs> Guys, welcome in and thank you for the posture check as well. Yeah. I'm just say F's in chat for the dad. Scout troopers are on my heck list. This guy should come back this way. I'm the target. Are you sure you wanted to find me? It's mine. Sounded <laughs> after. Who's out of breath after two swings? Trying to handle it. Got it. 
Coming around this way. Move this damn chair. Get out of my way. Shoot him down. Oh, you messed up today. It's hard to track. You'll pay for that. You'll pay for that. Oh. It's actually so satisfying when you get the I think it's more satisfying to parry the the ranged combat than the close like the baton and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The bullet. The laser. What is it fire? Mr. Bighorn, thanks for the hydrate. And Sangro with the no you posture check. There's more up there, but let's see if we can do. I really want to make sure we find the seeds for this guy. Oh, that's one of them. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's just another way to get up here. Whoa. What's in here? Is this where we need to go? Hold on, let me see this. Golden and Ukami, guys. Thanks for the follows. Welcome in, Ekami. Three out of 43. This is... No, I haven't found Gwen yet. <laughs> Search. I... Hmm. I don't know if I should go down here yet or keep going... I know that that's broken, so we're gonna have to go this way. So yeah, let's clear this area. Yeah, clear. What? Oh, oh. How did I miss them the first time around? I'm yelling at the chair. <laughs> the rage is starting to build. All of the memories from the first time. It's good to see some things never change. Trivial. We just get older, but it never changes said the harness land ah uh, man bear J. no it's not it's my second second playthrough but it's been like three years so first playthrough being attacked with non-lethal weapons your response is a bit escalated non-lethal weapons i have 19 deaths and i've only put three hours into the game I would say the <laughs> new lightsaber sleep. Ah, uh, more duty and resolve. Duty and resolve. I love the sneak attack. And we have a meditation spot over here. How large is this? You got me. Need a stem. After I take one hit, I go into panic mode, though. Yeah. I'm eco-friendly. No, I just like the color green. I would say green is probably one of my favorite colors. It never changes. No name. Just like... What was that... What was that quote just from? That was just in one. Which rec... Ah... Oh, state of hockey, exactly. This one's green. It's green. Um, I have orange, green, or blue right now are my options. What difficulty would you recommend for a first-timer? Oh, man. I think my chat would be able to answer that a lot better than I would because both of my times I did... I did the... Uh, is it Master Jedi or whatever the hardest difficulty is? Grandmaster. But I probably don't recommend that for a first time playthrough. I probably was crazy when I did it. Explains why I raged a bit. I would say one above story, right? I feel like story is probably way too easy. Really? Did you know before he settled on the term Jedi, George Lucas originally called them Force Kin? It's actually pretty cool. Wait, let's use this one. Use his Force. I did not know that move. I like it. Give me the Star Wars facts, y'all. I didn't save, did I? Hold on, let me save real quick. Tell me what's up, welcome in. Hello. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The force can awaken. Mm-hmm. Now say it again. I hate you guys so much. How have you guys gotten me two times in a row? How have you gotten me two times in a row? Mm. My defenses are down. I somehow have gone back to chat. <laughs> you know, for a second, I was starting to trust you guys again. And I'm, you're done. I'm done. Moon. Going on the list of names I don't read anymore. <laughs> That was tragic. 
Let me see if there's anything down here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna sit for it. <laughs> Destin, stop. Turbine facility, you guys are done. Video game, don't laugh at that, Shay. Guys. I hate you, Moon. Who was it last time? It wasn't Moon last time. Who got me yesterday with CDs? Drash with the hydrate as well. I'm so done with y'all. I don't know if this is the right way, but I'm gonna start going this way anyway. Could just be... Let me see. Moon, you're done. I'm so proud of you, chat. Yeah, trivia, I don't even know if you're the tr the biggest troll in here anymore. You've been... Oh, thank goodness we have some light in here now. You've been surpassed. Hydro, shut up. I hate you guys. Vicus, my chat betrayed me. That's what happened. Oh, I remember this part. Mm -hmm. You can't block that attack. Chat betrayed me. Okay, so it's really important that I- Oh! It's really important that we dash. Okay, so we're going for a dash and jump. Dash and jump. No. I'm never gonna trust chat again. It was wheel. It was wheel last time. I don't think this is the right way to go. If I remember correctly. I don't know if I remember correctly. Man bear, Jay. Thank you for the follow, by the way, if I didn't say that already. The troll master doesn't always have to be the one that's doing the trolling. Such a young Padawan. <laughs> I'm swatting me, Bob. All right. Mm. I mean, it's definitely important to go that way. We'll try. We'll try. I can't trust anything anymore. Elmo, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Oh, shoot. Welcome back in. Thank you. Yeah, I would try one above. Lindsay, no. I hated these. Not bad. Very nice. That looks like a problem. Oh, my. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, my. Oh, what? You couldn't block that? Woo! Take a stim, take a stim, take a stim, take a stim. He actually can do a lot. Oh! No! Oh! Woo! Mm. Living on a prayer. I stepped away for a second, and the, do not scroll back history. All right. <laughs> Phil. Stupid Phil. When provoked, <laughs> his low vision makes it difficult to change course, often crashing into rocks when charging. Actually, that's really good. Uh, their hooves have adopted, adapted to keep them steady in the mountain passes, making them resistance to push and pull of Zephos high winds. They are masterful climbers, able to move with ease on the mountain paths. Solitary by nature, they leave their mother's side early to find their own territory. Phil the Yak, is that what it is? The Yak. Phil Yak. Phil. Dr. Phil. As they age, their horns steadily grow, adding a new ring for each year of their lives. Okay, that's pretty, pretty consistent. Jedi Master, Jester, Des, and Perm. Guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. That was quite the same. Oh, I don't, I should, I don't, uh, seek the eye of the storm. I don't think I'm ready for this part yet. I really think I should go back and do this section first. Like this area that I started to go into and then I didn't finish it. But I guess we're here now and, um, Irish Titan Bear, Bear, thank you for the gifted sub. Charles Snow, welcome back in. You're determined to make sure every bear here, there's not a, meditation point before this that one has a rocket by the way all right no time like now i don't think i can block a rocket i don't think i can block it tristan welcome back in i'm glad to see you're enjoying it here bill 
We are not. Way life can suck. You're not getting me with this one. And bear with the gifted sub to man bear J. You are not getting me with this one. All right, I'm gonna continue by clearing out this village first. Incoming threat. Incoming threat. I hear you. Nice. You can even just sidestep them a little bit, honestly. So when they come charging for you, just do a little dash. Tomahawk and Shoko and Mar, guys, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. And Bear, thank you again for another gifted sub to another fellow bear. We need the Scomp. Scomp link must be repaired to operate this device. I wonder when we'll finally be able to do that. Can't enter here. Whee! Let's go back to slowing enemies. I need to make sure I'm using the force to slow, like, especially the ram. That could have, I could have changed that entire thing. A lot of these fights wouldn't be as bad if I remembered to use the force. Seventh Witcher, thank you. Hello? Hey, boy. Take a sim already? I need to not feel like I have to. I hate that I, when I respawn. Yeah, this sucks, okay. Just take it slow, we'll kill them as we go. Someone up there. Ah. It's the noises they make when they, Watch out, or you'll be next. I really wish I could just like. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? They kind of sound like they have the same responses as some of the enemies in uh, X-Men Legends for whatever reason. There we go. You gotta get all the ranged people first and then go in for the kill, you know? Do you think it's very easy to die in this game? I died a lot in this game. I think that if you are not willing to adapt to the way that the game wants you to play, as in using parry, using the force, like, if you deny the mechanics and just try to use brute force to get through, I don't think that it's going to be an enjoyable experience. So while there's many of other games that I think you can just, if you have a certain playstyle, you can probably use it for most games, but I don't think that's the case with this one, not without feeling pain for hours. Hence my 20 deaths, because I do not want to adapt to what they want me to play or what they want me to do specifically. I don't want to use the force. I don't want to parry. I want to, I'm just not remembering to, I guess is the better way to put it. Come on, BD1. Maybe I can't go through this way. Thanks for the hydrates up. Mm. I should have continued through. I don't know why I chose to stop. But this is a good safe spot. Like Ezio, just jump on him. I like how they waited for you to walk through that. Oh no, there's gonna be more. And that's another that's another thing too, is, the Jedi is here. with all the enemies resetting every single time. You say so. Are you aiming? Are we aiming? Move up already. Are you aiming at me or are you not aiming at me? Alright, continue on this way. <laughs> People from behind. Nice. You have to always watch out too for the second shot because a lot of times they'll get two shots off before you're able the is too far. before you're able to like reflect and then also block. Ranger and sound guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. If they allow for variety. I mean, I think I'm guessing you could probably get through this game pretty easy on any other difficulty without parry. I can't block that. I can't hit him. I should have known that. Woo! Reds, you can't block. Woo! Charging to the enemy. Vicious. <laughs> Woo! He can't beat all of us. There we go. There's a successful parry. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Plus, your window as a Grandmaster is yeah. so much shorter. Like, it's like that big. And the normal one is like, I think it's almost the whole meter, right? If you hold the block. Right, if you hold it, you block the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. to parry it, right? You just have to, uh, I see what you're saying. Like, you just have to hold on to it till the second one happened. Basically, yeah, I think I double tapped it the last time. Yeah, technically a tip trick. Technically a tip and trick. So I guess that means that I was going the correct way. Yeah, I guess I was going the right path. 
But maybe I would have missed out on... I saw something over there. Obviously, there's nothing we can do with this. Yeah, the wind turbine was the next area to go into. I know a lot of people say it feels like a Souls game. I think I even you said that happy. a little bit. I still don't think a lot of the Souls games require you to parry, Where though. Mine is Sekiro. The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees shipped off to work camps. Or worse. Hmm. Hey, Another one. eviction. That one was different, though. A pack left by villagers forced from their homes by the Empire and shipped off to labor camps. Yeah. So keep heading the way we were heading, because obviously we can't go that way. Back to it. There was no point for me to come back and fight those guys. Enemy approaching. Nice. Ah! Oh. I'll shoot him. Keep out of the way. All right. I can't hit him. I can't. The I can't shake him. We'll get you okay. Oh, yes, force. Okay. Nice. Just use the force. He can't beat all of us. Oh, no. Jedi. Jedi. Your force meter is empty. Damage enemies to regain it. Ah, that's right. There we go. Successful parry. Vid power and Firefox. Guys, welcome in. Who's pursuing me? Oh, oh, oh! I hit him! I'm staying on you! I'm out. I'm out. Chase Go this way. Go this way. Jump up. up I can't jump up that way. How did I get up there to begin with? I think we went this way. Hostile approaching. Oh. Okay, I really... I don't want to throw this. I don't want to throw this. This game is most similar to Sekiro. Also in the fact that Tristan, mm -hmm. Tristan with the 10 gifted subs to the channel and community and Anon with a grab it. Tristan, thank you so much. Wait, Breaking Badger got one. Dark Knight, Eddie, McCracken. Guys, thank you so much. And I hope y'all enjoy the sub and the emotes. Tristan, thank you. The chicken leg. <laughs> It's my favorite alert. Intruder! Any oh, damage? Oh, oh! No! Let's go tell command about this. I didn't need to jump across there. I have to focus up. No. I need to pause whenever alerts happen because I get distracted by them and now I fall into holes where there's bosses or I get smacked. Mm-hmm. The sequel's release is supposed to be the 28th. It does feel so much more difficult than I remember. It's gotta be the Grandmaster. Sequel is the 28th. 28th. I missed it. Did you guys tell me though? Ow. Did you guys mention when? Oh! 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 oh. Did you guys mention what the average length of a playthrough is? That's not where I'm supposed to jump up. That has to be where I, I'm supposed to jump up. Hmm. Where did he go? Tristan, thank you. Huh. So I just didn't successfully get it. Yeah. Nice shirt tag. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a Star Wars shirt. All right, go beyond, go beyond. To yeah. According to Google, it was a few months ago. Somehow. 17 hours? Oh, so we have plenty of time. I've got him. Just shoot me. Those guys are fine. I've got those down. It's the batons that I'm having trouble timing it. Thank you so much. And Shano, Shano, thank you so much for the reset for 13 months in a row. And welcome back in. Anon with the gifted sub to Tristan as well. Irish bear. There we go. Mmm. And I need to not be afraid to slow time. Took you 25 hours. What difficulty? What difficulty? Defurious, welcome back in Smaller and Night Noodle. No, it's not Night Noodle, it's Night though. <laughs> I don't know why I read that as Noodle. Noodles. Completionist takes a bit longer, but not too much. There isn't that much exploration, I guess, and we're already on to the second location, Turbine Factory again. If you're playing Story, 17 hours easy. 
How goes the return? Alphaba? Why can you stay calm for once? <laughs> Welcome back in. I don't have the wood I need. Or I do. Okay, I do. Hey. Ah, uh, Frank, welcome back in as well. It's good. It? I realize why I used to rage before during it. It's still rage inducing. I think that the the one of the more annoying parts to it is whenever you go down to meditate, you're always gonna get the enemies back, like any Souls game, right? I guess I've been spoiled by games where that's not the case. And you're just, all you have to do is clear the area and then they're gone for good. And then you can meditate, like with Witcher, you know? You clear them, you meditate, and you're good. You, you pick back up where you are, they don't respawn. I kind of miss that. <laughs> nice. I think that was a good use. So I have three uses for it. Ow! How did I do that? Nice. I should be able to get this. I can still do this. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna have to do it again. I like that these don't count towards it. That'd be ridiculous if they did, you know? Alright, too easy. Too... Let me watch it next time. Even the turbines are harder. <laughs> Yeah, Grandmaster again. Back up. Yeah, he bucks. Back up. Woo! We'll freeze him and just kill him. Oh. Not bad. In Grandmaster, I'm assuming your slow meter doesn't restore as fast. You know? Alisiri and Alia, and also my name is Rex. Guys, welcome in. And Fireball, hello! Okay, what am I supposed to do about the rocket guy? Just dodge it, I guess. Just cut the guy in half. Maybe I could slow him. Maybe I could slow the rocket. I say we sprint for him. Kill this guy. Sprint, 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 sprint. Mm. Don't sprint for him. Don't sprint for him. Don't sprint for him. You will not make it, you will just fail. It's just a flesh wound. Cool Grey, welcome in. Uh, <sighs> Last time he launched it and I died, maybe I could slow it down. Can we go again? I think their meditation spots are a little messed up. I don't think that was a good- I think they should have put a meditation spot before you fight those. Because mm -hmm. oh, all my ideas are great, Brett. Atachi, thanks for the stretch. Because all of them are. Sergio, welcome in. Okay, before I get rammed here. And I think the annoying part about it as well is, first of all, you lose all of your XP, but you go back to this scene, right? You go back to this scene, and you start, like, when you're playing on Grandmaster, and you fail like that, and you have such a long way to go. And I say such a long way, I know it's not that far, but it just starts... Getting you to the point where you just want to rush through it, and then you don't want to fight them. Take a stem. Help me, BD. Help me, BD. Way too close. Kill the rat. Here we go. Nice. Very nice. Achachi, thank you. Blink and you will see me die again. Woo. <laughs> the pickle. Pickle, welcome in. Ooh. One, two, he bucks. Nice. Oh, that was actually close. The bullshit, too, is like... <laughs> the bullshit is I would get smacked off of the edge, but that creature will never be smacked off the edge. Like, he could ram straight towards me and still not go over the edge, but yet I walk towards it and I fall. Hey, BD1. Ed, ED, welcome in, by the way. Okay, we go again. Why is that one stormtrooper yellow? Go, go, go! Yeah, okay. Oh! The rocket! Oh! 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 
I gotta go for the... He's got quick plugs. He's got quick plugs. I can't shake him. <laughs> nice. All right, wait, let him fire one more. Mm. Oh, he's yellow because of the one with my XP. Makes sense, makes sense. Very nice. So the rocket, Oh, Scan it. Rocket launcher trooper. Manipulate and deflect projectiles using the force. So you can deflect a rocket launcher. Okay. Very nice to know. I guess, I guess, I don't know why I thought the force couldn't handle a rocket, but yeah. Mad, thanks, by the way. Rocket launcher troopers are specialized stormtroopers serving the Galactic Empire's campaign over the galaxy. These deadly soldiers are armed with an RPS-6 smart rocket launcher, a long-range weapon that's incredibly difficult to deflect, trained to eliminate insurgent activity, diminish uprisings, and quell dissent. They provide an effective means of ground support. Although menacing, their weapon must be reloaded after each shot, allowing targets to evade or attack. Yeah, it was not bad at all. A red five standing by. Oh, gosh. If I remember correctly, this part almost made me rage quit. Just because of the save point more than anything. So we need to stop it when we have a little bit of lead up. Ooh. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, no. Okay, I need to stop that one, right? But I don't think I can step on this one. I think if I step on this one, it will start to go down. I guess I can't actually. I should be able to. I can't. Okay, you have to step on this one first. Ah. I know this is such an easy thing, but you know when you add like nerves to it? Nope. No tips or tricks, Benja! Sorry, I wasn't looking. Jack and Santa, guys, welcome in. And Raging, with the 12 months to fancy your Odin. I know I probably could have done that one. Raging, thank you so much for an entire year to fancier. I don't know why I chose to do that one. Oh, that was probably more risky than any of them. Please let me meditate. What's over there? Whoa. To examine. That's gotta be one of the Zepho. Zepho's yeah. your least favorite. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? Were those on the wall? There were three of them, right? They were on the wall inside of the temple. Oh my, are you kidding? Swine, welcome then as well. <laughs> See, this is what I don't understand, is not giving you a save point in all of this. Then again, I'm assuming that the game isn't built. You know how some games, I feel like they almost build to the hardest difficulty, while others, they just have a harder difficulty? And obviously this is part of what makes it harder, is the save point distance. It doesn't autosave. I missed it. Was it along one of the paths? There's a, there must have been one on one of the bridges. Hmm. Hmm. The platforming wasn't bad. Yeah, I'll take that. Can't tell this is your second playthrough of Goldfish Brain at its finest. I'm here for y'all. Nosy and Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much for the reset for 13 months in a row and welcome back in. Ernie with the gifted sub to Bridge and Nave as well. Hey. just me? Is it just me? <laughs> Is it just me? You un- wait, you unlocked back at you? Oh, uh, it must have been a- oh, huh? I was clenching, I was clenching nosy. Voldemort, thank you so much for right, the prime sub as well. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. And Desmylene, thank you for the follow. 
It's 2023 and there's no auto saves. <laughs> no, no floppy. Uh, yeah, floppy pickle was there one on the pass. Well, yeah, yeah, you can floppy pickle that. All right, commands nearby stormtroopers allow focused and synchronized fire on targets. That makes sense. Equipped with grenades, stormtrooper commanders lead their battalions into combat for the Galactic Empire. Recruited from countless systems, they've been trained to support the oppressive uh, uh, power of the Imperial War Machine. Their strategy and proficiency with an array of weapons allow them to coordinate attacks, command group maneuvers, and launch deadly assaults. Stun! Stun, what's up? Welcome back in. You say Taco Bell Poncho activated. <gasps> Shortcut? Shortcut? Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Something, something My dark side. In the rotation since I left Pagano, I've uncovered more about the Zepho than I once believed possible. Hmm? That's it? That's your voice note to me? Erdie, thank you for the gift of sub to Death Smiling as well. And Warg, it's Pro Shot, Drill, all of you guys. And if I missed anybody, guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. There's more stuff back here. Yep, save point. Whew, there it is. The save point was up on the platform you slowed. One of which one? We slowed a lot of platforms. Was it the first one? I'm so close to a scale point too. The other thing is, I know, I, I know, not only a save point, but I regenerated my stims, but those will be there. Those guys will still be there when I get back. However, maybe I can attack them and then come back and level up. I'd ideally like to level up one more time. I think I went this way. Oh, wait, hold on. I went the wrong way. Hey, Max, thank you so much for the gifts of the sandwich as well. I saw you said power battles. Unfamiliar with that. Save. The problem is, is that I'm gonna die with this XP, but you do get it back. So as long as we, as long as we smack that guy. Watch out, get the cover. Am I gonna read that one? So if I'm right, I think that one, sorry, tactile data bank. Which one was it? The one that you're talking about is the same, the, what you read is exactly what he says. Granted vision of the, this was from the beginning. Secret to the vault, four sensitives. Mm, had some interest in Dothmer. No, was it this one? Was it goodbye? In rotation since I left, I've uncovered more about them than I believed possible. This planet, their homeland. I thought it would actually read it out loud. It appears many, yet not all Zepho, could wield the force. They call it the life wind, the life wind. And those who wielded it, sages. Three names appear with frequency. Ilrim, Mictrol, Kujit? It seems these sages held esteemed positions within their culture. I've informed the council to lukewarm reception. They have been too focused on Jedi history, but the history of the force belongs to us all. When have you played Last of Us? Hold up. Fire together. Grenade! What is happening? Let me go over here. Need a step. They can come in here like the whole way? Get out of here. Okay, we did deflect the other ones, but I'm gonna actually continue and trust that I can do this without needing to spend the skill point, although I'm tempted, because it takes a lot to save up on a uh, skill point. Yes, I did play Last of Us. I actually have that up on my YouTube channel. And Achilles, Achilles, welcome in Mac and Mr. Brandy and Cosmic Taco. All right, here we go. The Jedi is here. Bye bye. All right, let's Wait, this is awesome. The other two didn't even fire at me though. About to fall off. I thought you were gonna have to block all of them, you know. I'm gonna get a little double swing. I don't trust it. The recording only reads the first few words. If you want the whole thing, you have to read it yourself. Well, they should do both of them. I feel like if you click on it, he should finish out reading it, you know? I'm slowing him. I hate these creatures more than anything. It's worth a slow. It really is. To me, at least. Yeah, Achilles, it's an amazing game. I forgot how smooth it was. I want to say I played this... I 
I didn't have my 20s. I didn't even have my 2070 Super when I played this. And now we're playing it on a 4080. Ernie, thank you so much for the gift of Subduck Achilles. What's wrong with my poncho? What's wrong with the poncho, Assad? Come on. I do have the Taco Bell. Oh, it is kind of like a Taco Bell poncho. It's giving me Baja Blast feelings. This is the way. Shadow Knight, what's up? Welcome Here's back in. Nice, nice. There we go. Let's try to get the guy in the back. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, we got him. Huh. Parried. Man, they're doing yeah. something. I bet I could beat you. Oh. Go around him. Oh. That was not bad. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Shadow, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. And I hope I'm able to see you tomorrow. And have a great start to your week. Harry and Viking and Ar Arius, guys, welcome in. Scout Trooper Commander. Able to block, parry, use specialized spin techniques. Stronger stamina than their subordinates. Scout Trooper Commanders lead squads of specifically trained stormtroopers into combat for the Galactic Empire. Scout Commanders armed with riot batons are extremely adept in melee combat and should not be taken lightly. I did feel like he broke my ankles there for a second. Like I hate when I always think they're gonna swing. Ridiculous. <laughs> Friendly enough. <laughs> Friendly, what the heck? Na Naveen, wait, no, no, Naveen, you're totally fine, no worries. I hope you have a great week. Brenlin with the 20 gifted subs to the channel and community. Thank you so much. Speaking of Ginger, I know she's not, she hasn't come out today. I told you guys she's feeling a very like, just lately she's been a lot more sedentary than normal. I know she's a cat, but still. Brenlin, thank you so much. One of my favorite streamers playing one of my favorite games. Hey, well, you're not too late to it. I've been going extremely slow through it and I've also been dying a lot. So clearly by the 22 deaths. Renlin, thank you, and anybody that got a gifted sub, I hope y'all enjoy the emotes. I see skits. Oh! I'm gonna kill him. Very sneaky. I'm not trying to die to one of those. Yeah, anybody that got one, please give a big thank you to Renlin as well, and I see Dem, D, wait, Dej, Demj, and Loco, guys, welcome in. You seem in. happy. You seem helpless. <laughs> Loki wild, how much your community has grown. It's... Take insane <laughs> i it's just been crazy like the first time i played this on stream i think there were 50 people it was like 50 people four years ago it's crazy the remains of a villager who died trying to save their family and the empire oh go quickly go quickly fall a lot of it's been this last year specifically but just so much has happened in the last year Anon, thank you so much for the gift of sub to uh, Paul and Ernie with the gift of sub to Fabio as well. Before we go there, let me try to enter these ways first. Ginger can sleep in if she wants to. You don't have to bring her out if she's tired. No, I'm, I'm definitely not. She's a tired gal. Yes, meditation point. Go, go, go. Except before they respawn, because if I meditate... Okay, it's all about being ta- Oh, sh What the- Vapor, ah, uh, clever stormtrooper. Let me see if you can go through here first. Ah, uh, the scomp link. Clever stormtrooper. Maybe just a little bit, Brad. <laughs> I've completed this, I'm interested. In, I've, I've done it once before and it is really good, but I, I don't remember a lot about it, so I can't give a good opinion. So I'll let you know how I like it at the end. I will say, I know you guys always, there's people that always pop in and they're like, how are you liking the game? And I, I, I know it seems like a cop-out answer for me to be like, oh, I like it, but if I didn't like it, if it was anything less than liking it, I wouldn't be playing it on stream. Like, I'm never I'm gonna, gonna play something you. I don't actually like. I'll just keep dodging. Yeah? That was not as hard as I thought it would be. Yeah, duck, dodge, dive, repeat. Are we fully ready to mm, go beyond and see if there's anything for us to uncover down here? Clever, <laughs> clever girl. I think the best I can say until I finish the game is I'm liking it, and then I'll decide if I love. This is the right way to go. Those are not bad at all. Very nice. 
Okay, before we continue on, let me meditate. I'll just deal with these guys anyway. He's got a blaster. John Mad, thanks for the follow. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel. Ah, Strike Boy, welcome back in too. All right, skill tree first. Um, which one should we do? Uh, I know I was going down this. Holding Y, I need to do the dash strike. I still need to do that one. Empowered slow. Holding slow allows Cal to slow his targets for a longer duration. Or we could go on with Cal's defenses are improved. I don't love that one. I don't really care about the strong attack. I haven't been using it as much as I should. I should try doing that at least once. I need to like acclimate to the game by the time I'm done with it, I'll have just gotten used to the system. I didn't scan him yet. I'm, well, we're going to have to kill him again. That's why. Yeah, I got to go back and kill him when I progress further. But I needed to save first. Um, a KD welcome in, by the way. Overcooked? Absolutely not. Sprint strike. Attacking out of a sprint allows Cal to perform his... Uh, that is something I'm more likely to do accidentally in a positive way than some of the ones that required me to actually like, like press Y, like hold Y to do this. Like this, I'm always sprinting and running into them. So let's just do that one. We're going all out of fence. Yeah, this game is so good, Strike Boy. And seriously, welcome back in. Clever Stormtrooper. <laughs> oh, he's not back. Oh, I didn't rest, that's why. I leveled up, but I didn't rest, hold up. Hold up, we... Hey, Max, thank you for another gifted sub. Thank you so much. I never watched this game when it came out. When did you, wait, when did you discover it, Panda? Did you just not watch it, but you played it when it came out? Here we go. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's not practical. All right, BD1, do your thing. Oh. Do your thing, baby. You should, Hydro, stop. Stop, no more spoilers. Leave the stream, go play this for yourself. Please, do not ruin it. It's such a good game. This is the third most excited game. I, the, Jedi, the Jedi Survivor, the next one, is my third most anticipated game of the year. Second to Silent Hill 2, and of course, first is RE4, but... This one was a close contender, top three. I know, I mean, if you don't care about the spoilers, I guess this game is still fun to play it on your own, even if you see somebody else's playthrough. I have to say, it is that kind of game um, that you're not spoiling too much. Maybe just avoid like the end. Can't wait for the sequel. The sequel's all right around the corner. Shielded, heavy, long range, rapid fire weapon capable of sustaining numerous hits. Slow movement, long wind up before firing, and cooldown period after attack provide opportunities to attack. The heavy assault troopers are specialized infantry serving the Galactic Empire. Am I expecting to not, like, to one of these somehow not be serving the Galactic Empire? No. On the front lines of war, they are primarily trained to defend combat zones as support squads to stormtrooper patrols. They are highly proficient with the Z6 Rotary Blaster Cannon, which fires off steady, rapid, long-range bursts capable of inflicting heavy damage and shielded by a lower, a low emitter energy ray. Nice. Look how many different types there are. You can see like all of the dots that I haven't even discovered yet. I we watched one of the Silent Hill movies in my in my channel was it silent hill do no it was the first silent hill movie we watched it one of the movie nights in the discord and it was definitely interesting i've only played silent hill 2 i played it for the first time last year and then they announced like right after that they were doing a remake so i hope it comes out this year but i'm also not holding out hope i'm not i never trust those anymore i got trust issues and it's because of game developers <laughs> Got no console good enough to play games, so watching cool streams is the closest you get to experience in it. Um, it's so interesting when I try to explain, like, I, you always, I'm sure even you guys get, it's like, wait, people like watching video games, and I try to explain it like watching sports, too. Like, it's anything that you like to consume. It's, I always still think it's exciting to see something for the first time through somebody else's eyes, which is why I do traditionally like first playthroughs. But again, goldfish brain works strong for us. But I'm glad that you're enjoying it, Lamb, truly. All right, block all of those. Holy, there's so many follows and I missed all, most of them, but Hus, Tang, Dog, and Chow. Guys, thank you. And anybody else. Holy beans, y'all. 
I play vicariously through you. Through these eyes? <laughs> I die through- I die vicariously through you and all of your amazing deaths. No, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the playthroughs, truly. There's a lot of games too that I'm not willing to commit to until I see somebody else enjoy it first. I feel like, again, I'm kind of that person that like, if I enjoy a game, I'm going to recommend it to y'all, but not every game will I like advocate for. So y'all will know when they're the games that I truly love. And those are the ones that I, I think are more worth like the money and everything. So you can tell a beautiful story and have a good, have a good initial playthrough, but it might not be worth the money that you spend a lot. And there's so many games that come out left and right. I don't know how people can just get all of them. I compare this to watching sports. Yeah, especially if there's humor. Did you say especially if there's humor like laced in it? Yeah. Thank you, TJ. TJ, seriously, that means a lot. There's humor in the game and everyone laughs together. Yes, there is. Um, I know I talked about it at the beginning when Quali rated, but a huge part of I would say just my love for gaming stems more around the community that's created through it and caused from it. BD1, over here. Go back, go back. Mm. Strike point, thank you. DKE, no. No, I have not. So tomorrow morning we are finishing the final. I'm finishing the final episode. I need to destroy them first. Oh, we're dropping down. Gotcha. SSG Sock Blackadder and also Emin. Is it Emin? Guys, welcome in Moon. Thank you so much for the 100 bits as well. Wait, are you headed out? You're off to work, I'm assuming? Off to work. This year is going to be an amazing year for gaming. All right, we're going to swing for a second. Ninja, thank you. Yeah, quality rated. Yes, I'm hoping, like, I want to play games with her sometime. If she'll want to play games, I'm hoping, I don't know what, I don't know if she plays games off stream, but if she does, I'd love to do like Dead by Daylight or something. I don't know, demonologist. Sam, welcome back in. All right, so we can create this shortcut. And before we go up there, this area is already starting to feel a million times easier than it was a couple hours ago. Yeah. Keep it mellow, welcome back in. We're already close to another skill point. This is what it feels like when you start getting good at a game. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure I'd hyper... <laughs> Maggie looking at paint drying, I'm sure she would hyper focus on something and things would magically be <laughs> I always talk about this, I... I just... Oh, the rat. The rat scallion. Get off of me! Get off of me! <laughs> Hold on. Hey! <laughs> It's Tough starting to get easier. <laughs> I'm getting just... better. I'm gonna have to use both of those. I almost think I should go back to the save and then redo that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She mostly plays, not on stream too. Like I, I usually like to like connect with other streamers through like off stream games. It's kind of nice. Ghost, thanks for the follow and welcome in. What's in here? Jean, what's up, welcome in. Or Jean. I like using the lightsaber for your light source. It just... Something else in here. In accordance with the Emperor's will, we've occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk Augur? of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology. This is an outpost? This is how many people they have for like, I mean, I guess it is, yeah, no, I know it's an outpost, but like using minimal, did he mention? Maybe I assumed he mentioned minimal people just to protect what they do have. But this does not seem like a minimal amount of stormtroopers. Andres, welcome back in. Thank you. She played DVD once and it terrified her. See, streaming multiplayer is just not, I don't know, it's not my thing. Um, I've done it before in the past and they just aren't, oh, I missed that, didn't I? It wasn't, it was in Zepho. Characters? No. Oh! I didn't realize that we could actually read up on the characters. 
They haven't been popping up on the screen. I should have been doing this the whole time. T-Sub, welcome back in. And Boy Goofin and Ethan, guys, welcome in. Other characters. We have one in the... Oh, Prof. Mm, R.I.P. Prof. I should go back and read these at some point. Maybe we'll read these at the beginning of tomorrow's stream, too. The Empire, go big or go home. Ghost, thank you. And I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. And already with the gifted ghost, Damien, welcome in. Yes, our It Takes Two. Well, we're doing It Takes Two on Saturday, the last Saturday this month. Is that next Saturday? Saturday after? I think it's the Saturday after. I'm saying I want more bad guys. No, no. No more. I'm saying I'm surprised that this is a minimal amount of stormtroopers. <laughs> Mecca, welcome in as well. Insurgent! Insurgent! Ah. Whoa! All right, slow that down a little bit. He's moving. Whoop. Oh. In pursuit. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, now I'm starting to use B more, too. Bees and parries, baby. Bees and parries. The bees and the birds. I love the color green. Green's one of my favorites, for sure. Ernie, thank you for the gifted sub to Boy, Goofin, and Grand Sage. Thank you for the prime sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. I promise one of these okay. days, wait. I don't think she's actually out there, but in there. one of these days you guys will actually see my baby Ginger if you have subbed and you haven't seen her yet. She's the inspiration for the emotes. She's my 17. I keep aging her up. She's 16 and a half. She's almost 17, but she's my old, my old lady cat. Okay, there's nothing that I like about this. Oh, Grand Sage, thank you. Hexagon, welcome in. Sunday has been good. This is mostly what I've done today. I'm not even sh ashamed to say that the highlight of my Sunday. Oh. Okay, I can get on that platform. I just need to get on that platform first. I'm not even ashamed to say that the highlight of my Sunday was getting to use my new vacuum for the first time. It was so satisfying. Uh, how much that is that in cat ears? I heard something for the first time. I was telling my friends that I would, I would come over tonight for dinner. So my friend's hosting a dinner and she was like, oh, let's just have like a couple drinks. And I said one, one beer. And she was like, one dog beer. One dog beer. I need to let it up. Mm. Slow it down over here. Santiago, these are these are meant to slow down, I think. Nice. One dog beer. Hey. What is one year in a dog's year? One dog year is like seven human years, right? Ah. Do you say ginger has more life experience than most? <laughs> go, 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 go. See, there's one more. Yeah, so seven beers. I don't think there's anything else. Run! One of these I have to get back up on though, right? Your friend's spending a lot of hydrates. <laughs> oh, that's not what we do either. I'm about to be smooshed. Do I need to jump? Oh, hold on. Oh, the uh, wall run. Wall run. Wall run. Oh! Oh! It's gotta be a wall run, right? Alright, do that. Nice, there we go. Okay. Cow. The Empire's pinpointed your location. Ooh. You need Ooh. to move back. Give me that save! On it. I will say, I kind of like that the game makes you have to clench before you save. Like, every single time, you're just that close to dying. The classic, I'm not an alcoholic. I only drink two six-packs. <laughs> it's only two six-packs. And we got a skill point. No bark. Uh, Themos, huge. Andy and Vlad, guys, welcome in. Yes. Where's the rum? Why is the rum always gone? Oh! Hold up. We... No, it's the same things. Yeah, 
Did we have this one? Empowered slow. Yeah, the slower duration. Uh, we should probably... Yeah, we should probably increase our maximum force. I would say that's probably pretty good. The crates were there. I think I missed them when I played. I think it was just one crate, but there could have been a second one. I probably missed one more. Maybe it was the one. Perfection, welcome in. Alex, hello and see winter. Hmm. It's nice because I know I'm still dying, but for what it's worth, it starts feeling really good when you feel like you've gotten the hang of it. I'm still going to die a lot and I don't have it perfect whatsoever. But I feel like the playthrough is getting more enjoyable. Mm hmm. I actually don't want to deal with the Baton Boys. Oh! Oh! Enemy spotted! No! No! Ah. Don't like our chances here. How many times will we die to gravity? Eyes on the move. Gravity, my old friend. Ah. He's really injured. Woo. He just keeps slipping past. Stim, I no. really don't want to deal with him. Ah. Ow. All right, there's something I need to do though. Is it a hold? On the move. Should be dash Y. <laughs> oh, give me a stim. Use a stim real quick. Use it. Can't win if he keeps recovering. All Pull right, roll, roll, roll. You both ah. gently down the hill. I just need to parry one, even the numbers. I can't I parry that. That's not a parryable attack. Why you gotta throw me ah. like that? Don't let him escape. Try. He's too scared. I need the overhead attack. Overhead attacks are always the easiest to parry. It's not a parryable bullshit attack. Nice. Okay. I can't shake him. Oh. Stay on you. Did you survive with nothing? Okay, we need to be flipping around them. I need to like flip around. I like that move he threw out, though. The move was kind of nice. Yeah, okay, I'm done. There was a heavy attack and I missed it. We got him. <sighs> I'm sure. <laughs> Isaac Noon, <laughs> thank you for your contribution to science. Gravity is definitely the toughest enemy so far. I think it's when you're dealing with a group of like two or more with the baton guys. I just, the overhead attack is, if it if it is like a Souls game, your overhead attack is always going to be the easiest to parry. So I got to time that one right first. Maybe. Now that I think about it, I thought there were only two baton guys. And then when I went back up, it was like it became... Oh, a third one jumps down. I see him. Oh, shit. He has maxed me. Never going to end. That's not bad. That's a go beyond them. You should run from this squadron. I gotta stop. On target. There we go. There we go. Alright, use another oh, stim. stim. Alright, we got this. Two more. Marching band music to distract the Hey! <laughs> My targeting is so wonky. Oh, I okay, we got him. Give him a little slow and do it. You're pretty quick. Can I not do a heavy? I just tried to use a heavy in it. Let me just try this one more time. Oh. You have to have force to use the heavy. Maybe that's why heavy needs force. Gotcha, Shadow. But we did get our XP back from that. What's better than two baton guys? Three baton guys and a normal stormtrooper in the back to shoot at you. That Jer Bear and right, that Dwina, guys, thanks for the follows and welcome me. So what was in there? New Mantis paint job? <gasps> Starfighter? Oh, okay, we haven't been changing. Oh, I think the customization just adds that little flair and honestly is one of the most satisfying parts about the game. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. It's kind of nice. I kind of like the blue. You killed the dude right off the Tarzan swing. <laughs> Hit him with the one, two. I, I'm just... Mm, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of... I guess it's mostly silver. I'm not sure if I love it. 
Have you seen the customization they're showing off in Survivor? No, I haven't seen. I've seen one teaser for Survivor and that's it. So we'll probably try to watch them all together before, before we move on to the next one. BD1, we still just have red. Oh, I know I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna leave it on the blue one for now. You think the yellow one for the mantis? Everybody in the galaxy is gonna see us if we do yellow on our mantis. <laughs> Notice me. <laughs> I guess they probably noticed this anyway, but still. Mr. Mojo, what's up? Welcome back in. This is a game where Maggie dies a lot. Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, it came out in, I want to say 2019, right? Oh, great balls of fire. Whoop! I forgot how much I enjoyed this. See, this is how I should be when I'm snowboarding down the mountain. This is not how I am when I'm snowboarding down the mountain. Manus and uh, Shaq, Sima, guys, thank you. Welcome. I found something. What do they know? No mention of Cordova. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then yeah. we have the advantage for now. Unless. Go backwards. I need more ponchos. Oh, what if they took the ponchos away? They might not have ponchos. No, they'd have to have ponchos for the next one. This is a waste of time. What is Crane playing at? Impossible that anything useful is in here. Hmm. Questionable use. An Imperial container used to transport many of the artifacts found during Project Augur. The workers doubted the worth of some of the items. Tab, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. And I hope I see you tomorrow. Um, when I get off tonight, I'll put on the schedule, but I will be back on for anybody that's headed out. I'll be playing this again tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, the game has so many ramps. I remember that was a little bit of a critique on it. I think I just saw one of y'all said, Southpaw, thanks for the hydrate. One of y'all said that it would have won game of the year had it, had Sekiro not come out that year. Do you think that Survivor is going to be contender for this year? There's some heavy hitters that have come out this year or will come out. Country girl, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Chris as well in Havoc. I also saw, wait, wait, I totally missed Sethist. I hope you have a good night. Thank you for hanging around and uh, have a great start to week. Make Monday good. Start it out right. It takes two to make a thing go right. This year's going to be intense for game of the year. What do you guys think the contenders are? Oh, not against Breath of the Wild 2. I don't know if Breath of the Wild 2 is going to take it home. You think so? Oh, that's not... Hold on. I'm wasting my force on those creatures, but I hate them more than anything. And they'll sneak up on you, and you will die. Storm, or Stoop, and Christy. Guys, welcome in. At least we have the advantage of watching them kind of slither out. Yeah, no bark. what do you think? Definitely could be a contender. Kind of funny games have a great preview chat. Wait, have a great preview chat? What do you mean? Do I have red highlights in my hair? No. It's from the it's from the hue of the lights. It's from the Philips hue. Cause I changed it to red this time to match my lightsaber color. Or what it would be if I was a I've gone full Sith mode. Dead space. I don't know if Dead Space I don't know if I wouldn't put Final Fantasy 16 could take it home. Starfield if it actually comes out. I couldn't actually I don't know if I would see that taking it home. Ghost Doggy, welcome back in. Yeah, we're getting hyped up for Survivor, replaying this one again. I don't think Hogwarts is gonna take it home. I don't think, um, what were the other two? The first two that you guys said, I don't think RE4, I don't think the remakes are actually gonna pick it up. I don't, have we seen a remake take home game of the year? I don't know if we've even seen that happen. Yeah, I don't know if that's happened before. I wonder who the VA would be. The VA is going to be interesting as well. I wouldn't... Uh, who did I really like? The merchant should take it home. That's interesting. We're on the right track. But it's showing that way, and I can't actually get up there. Casta is a Sith. <laughs> Ginger is the master, I'm her friend. Oh, I thought she, I thought I saw her little, her little buddy. If only remakes could win Game of the Year, then RE4 would have a big chance. So they can't even win it. That's not even like a possibility. Okay, so they can't win it. Ah, uh, Final Fantasy 16. I could see the other one y'all said. Is Starfield actually going to come out this year? 
there's a ram over there. Look at him. He's just ready to mess my day up. Okay, scan this first. It's not allowed. That Thank makes sense. Why, though? I can't shake him. <laughs> I left and all I want to play is more Jedi Survivor. All I can think about is more of the game. It really got me going. Oh, they have reviews like that. Is that what you're saying on it? Infinity, welcome back in. Should have a purple lightsaber. I'm mean, pretty sick. There's a storm up ahead. Something about it crippled the Empire's equipment. Mm. I can feel something pulling me there. Beyond, Beyond the storm. The storm. Perhaps the eye. Sharpen your instincts. Ross, right. welcome in. I'll do my best. Mm. Oh, now that I think about it, uh, I don't think they're doing another anthology game this year, right? They took a break, because last one was the... The last anthology was the last one in the first season. They are going to do another season, but I think they're taking a, we a year break, maybe? Baldur's Gate 3. Movie, uh, oh, I didn't know that. Movie remakes can't win awards either. Show yourself. The devil in me, that's what it was. Jog, um, I see Derry, Lyric, Ghost Warrior, and anybody I missed, guys, thank you for the follows and welcome in. Mm. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, I've never played or had experience with those. You guys know this by now. There's a lot of games I haven't played, but I think somebody had already asked it. I've already kind of said this, but now moving past RE4 Remake, because that was one of my top contenders for most anticipated games. I think going forward, my next one other than Survivor is Silent Hill 2 Remake. You guys know I love a good horror game. There's two, there's three. There's a whole squad of them. There's four. <laughs> These are, they're easy to dodge, but I've never faced more than one. Oh gosh, there's probably a fifth one. Oh my gosh. All right, let's take him out first. Go for the weak and the separated. Sneak up on him, slit his throat. There's no sneaking up on him. Whoa, nice. They might not be as strong as a whole. They're as strong. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Yeah, so strong. Uh, grateful. Hi fi? What is hi fi? I haven't even heard of that one. My next big one will be Spider Man 2. So, you guys know, I mean, I feel like I'm telling you guys the entire year's lineup, but we do have a lot. Uh, Battle D Pass, welcome back in, by the way. Oh, great results. If you're in the Discord, we have a fitness channel too. We're always trying to. I love, I know what motivates me when I see you guys like getting out there. Spazzy was putting a lot of stuff out there. Soup always posts in there. Um, Y'all have been really into running too. <laughs> it's making me start to want to run. Captain Jerusky, welcome back in. Nick and Pat, guys, thank you for the follows. Ernie with the gifted sub to battle and Anon with the gifted sub to infinity. Near. Welcome back in. That is unfair. No, I needed to dodge. I can't just keep smacking it. Performer. Elden Ring makes sense, though. I would have picked Elden Ring, even though there were some good. Well, I was actually thinking Ragnarok would. Ragnarok picked up everything else, right? Except save the actual game of the year. High five rush. I still want to go for this guy first. Go for this guy first. Move forward. I also think you should be able to stealth kill him, but that's okay. I need to make sure I dash and jump around them. What if we just ran past it all? Hear me out. We get our XP back and then we run past the others. I already got that one. Xanner, thank you so much for 28 months. Oh my gosh, we're getting on our way to three years. Holy cow. Xanner, thank you. Huh, another one of these. One of those. All right, slow him down. Just slow him down. Oh, the other one behind us, the other one behind us. Oh, we alerted, we pissed his brother off. Oh gosh. I never thought I'd be so terrified of Rams. These are like the Dark Souls dogs of this game. I guess every game has to have a... Something that reminds you of a Dark Souls dog. 
Let him charge. Oh, what? Don't let him charge. I need Heal. help. Stim me up, baby. Just go for the kill. I have a feeling the bosses will actually be easier. I guess I could have parried. I should have parried. I need to parry. Aiden, welcome in. What do you think all of the loot? In my opinion, God of War should have not have been qualified for... Wait, which one? Nomination? For a game of the year? Because of when it came out? Didn't it come out right before? What's the cutoff? What's the official cutoff for game of the year? Uh, nominations? And Naderade. Wait, I felt like I just... Was it not just yesterday that you resubbed as well? Thank you so much for 19 months. And welcome back in. I wish there was a way to find more stim packs as well. I'm not dealing with him. No. 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 <laughs> Just run away. Oh, no, drop down. He's so fast too. Oh gosh, okay, run, run, run. <laughs> Just go. I wanna scan, I, I have already scanned this. There's, I didn't think there was an, a need to rescan things you've already scanned, right? He wants this fight and I don't want it. Look the details on the wall. Starboy. <gasps> slow him down. We can use slow on him a couple times. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Moving out. Yeah, I don't. I'll try, but I'm pretty sure, BD1? yeah. BD1 will only scan sure the creature once, and I think those all fall under the same. Even if there is, like, an alpha or he was on the highest platform, I don't think it made him different. Seven Lion, five by five, guys, welcome me. And Starboy, hello. All right, is there any other loot in here, though? Oh, check it out. Um, uh, That might be something later, though. It doesn't look like you can... Wait, yes, yes, you can. Yes, yes, very good. Dies to fall damage here in a second. Let me get back up there. Howie, yeah, I'm still streaming. <laughs> Welcome back. Except I can't. Except we can. No. I really think there's a double jump. Oh, but let me scan that real quick. That's another one of those things that we can't open. I guess maybe it won't show us. Okay. Yeah. So we've already been scanned that, so it won't let us rescan it. Mm. There's got to be a double jump somewhere. Don't answer, but it's the only way that we can make it to some of these platforms. 13, welcome in. 13 sins, one to read as synthesizer. Okay, let me just scan up here before I proceed. I know that's going to be the right direction, but is there anything up here? Don't fall behind, BD1. Don't fall behind, BD1. No. But who etched this entire, like, extreme. It's extreme. Oh, what was that? I missed that. Hold on. Sorry. Am I a baseball fan? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big sports ball kind of person. Um, I do like hockey and basketball are my preferred sports if I have to watch one. If I was forced to watch one. <laughs> yeah. Is it bait? Are you talking about me baiting y'all with questions, or is this another? F this better not be another one. I just... I've already lost my trust I've once today, Chad. Never seen do that before. Yeah, it's incredible. I love how the hardest part to get to here was fighting rams. You guys thought I was gonna walk into that without slowing it, didn't you? I believe this to be the earliest Zeppo settled site, site we've, we've uncovered, uncovered yet. yet. Despite my reservations. Despite my reservations, I cannot chase the Bogano vault from my mind. Its visions shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. I cannot chase you the Bogano never think vault that. from my mind. Its visions shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. Y'all told me he wasn't going to keep reading it, so I went and read it. 
Because <laughs> the last one he stopped reading it. Frogman. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just not a, yeah. I'm not a big sports person. I think it was like, growing up, my dad wasn't really a big sports person either. And neither were my brothers. Like, we all played sports growing up, but we didn't really go to games or watch them. I do like going to a baseball game because... Snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Beer, hot dog. Massive. And the Empire? Some popcorn. No down here. What about Cordova? Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? Hmm. Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Oh! Keep an open mind. The Eye of the Storm. The crew traveled to Zepho homeworld, searching for the tombs Cordova mentioned. They learned the Empire occupied Zepho in order to mine ancient artifacts. The directive, codenamed Project Augur, was terminated after Zepho's magnetic winds proved too difficult to deal with. Now, Cal and BD find themselves inside an ancient Zepho tomb, looking for messages from Cordova. We're not going to be rocking and rolling over there for a second. You watch advertisements between? Oh, between sports? Home team? I don't really have a home. That's the problem is like, I guess a lot of the closest teams for me would be like DC. We don't really have a lot of teams for you see that? many sports. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, go like this. Mm. Okay. Oh! Okay, it's fine. V trip, what's up? Welcome in. Oh man. They're gonna. Don't worry, you probably won't miss that much. Go, Braves. I think the only game I've really gone to is the. Is it. I almost said the Washington Capitals. That's not it. That's the hockey team. That's how little I watch it. I need him to scan this one. Thanks, BD1. All right, block it, block it. Nice. All right, now let him. Skungus. <laughs> the skungus. Avoid contact, moving carefully and central around the central pod. Explosive core may be utilized as a defensive against other enemies. Didn't somebody mention this? The skungus. I think somebody said that. Skungus are a parasitic, plant-like organism containing explosive toxic spores, which may detonate when a threat approaches. Smaller pods burrow underground in clusters to comprise a larger central hive. Known for their putrid smell and soft brain-like tissue, various forms of this invasive species exist. I thought they were gonna hurt a lot more, like they'd have more uh, range with that thing. I know, I like this poncho. Oh! Oh. I always forget that you don't have to worry about them unless, yeah, you don't have to worry about them unless you're slashing them. So you could actually move through without... I'm gonna try it. Is it... Yeah, like they won't ex... Whoa! Yeah, they don't explode unless you... Hmm. Gotta go, bye! Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I, I think that's hilarious. Bye, bye, rats. I'm assuming that's supposed to happen, but still, that's amazing. The way you're just tossing them around. <laughs> I wish I could say that was me. Ernie with the gifted sub to no bark. Ernie, thank you for another gifted sub as well. The sports, so this is, <laughs> this is the best part about it. I'm not even a big sports ball person, yet the sports ball channel is the most popular and most used channel in the Discord. <laughs> the flying rats, the rodents of unusual size. Hmm. Okay, I still need to- oh, you have to open up the pathways. That's right. I'm not- I'm not, like, with this low HP and how far back we'd go, I'm not messing around with these rats. Oh! I'm messing around with the rats, I'm messing around with the rats! Take him to the room, take him to the room! <laughs> I'm just kidding! 
Uh, Tiff, what's up? Welcome in. What would you raise Resident Evil 4 out of? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. There's two. There's two. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come here. This is a problem. I have no HP in a dream. Rough overload, welcome back in. Ah. We can interact with it right here. I guess we can deal with this room first. Yeah, let's deal with this room first. So open up this one, it pushes the ball over there. We need to push it into the center, assuming. We need to do this one. Hold on. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get crushed. Oh. Cool. Already with the gift of to tip as well. Yeah, it's near per- I mean, I think it's really hard for- Like, as a remake, as an actual remake for a game, I would say a 10 out of 10. As a game overall, it's still like a 9 out of 10. It's not just wind rippling through these chimes. Aliens. Voices. In the past. Okay. So, I think in order to... In order to get it into the circle, this one's gonna launch it, but it's gonna lose- I think it's losing momentum down here. It's losing momentum somewhere. See, and it goes straight past that, so it's not taking that middle one into consideration. There is wind coming from here. Maybe we turn this one off? No, that wouldn't matter. It's a marble stream. I'm almost thinking that we need to turn this one off after it gets a little bit of wind, you know? Just so it gets a little bit. Like, stop it right now. No, because then that just stops it, so it doesn't even push it in this direction. Does this one need to be turned? Oh, maybe this one needs to be turned on, like, right at the right moment when it's coming through, and that way it gets, like, a gust, you know? Should put a written up review by the end of next year. For which one? To boost my marbles. Can I close this real quick? Give it a gust of wind. Oh! Well, that's not the thing. There's gotta be one more spot that I'm missing here. Those are the three that I get to work with. That pushes that there. This one. Mm. I'm not, no, I don't think these games are like puzzles by any means. I have to get into there. Ah, so we need it to break. Okay. So, let me actually just turn this one off, and it should break through that wall, I think. Or I use the force. Oh my, I almost just got crushed. Yeah, I'm thinking, what if we, oh, okay. Maybe I can use the force to give it resistance so it stops right here. Guys, no tips, tricks, or spoilers. Oh! Maybe I have to be closer to it? No tips, tricks, or spoilers. Give it a second. It's not in time. Oh, it's still gonna launch. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> All right, same thing, but actually get it on, on the spot. I need to stand right in front of it. Whew. At least you can't get crushed by it. It's good to know you can't get crushed. Should be good. Oh, and I gotta go turn the other one off. Gotcha. All right, rinse and repeat, go turn the other one off and then we should be good. Mm, maybe I should stop it a little bit before too. So it rolls into it. Ow, I just got so mad. Is it Indiana Jones? No. You just stop it right away. Maybe because I got kicked back, it took me too much time. I have the right method, I just have to successfully deliver. I'm getting caught up in the wind right there. Turn it off, turn it off. It just goes beyond. All right, let it come over here first. Black heart, Doxy guys, welcome in. All right, let it stop right there for a second. Have the right method it's just i need less force from this one should just be able to push it nothing about this makes sense 
You just stopped it a little bit. Okay, let me stop it from this side so I'm already over here. So let me, yeah. Moon, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. All right, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. All right, turn this one off. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Yeah. Oh! Jeez. Yeah. It's the weirdest way to do it you've ever seen. <laughs> Is that not how you're supposed to do it? Moon, I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. This one never totally made sense. How do you do it? Floppy Pickle, what were other ways to do it? What? Two out of three. Zeppo meditation rituals. Mm -hmm. I think they were training force users. Meditation relics. Zepho meditation relic used in ancient rituals to train force users. Everything he just said right there. <laughs> Dirty Dan, welcome in. And Mr. Chill, thank you. Yeah, just took a little bit more. I guess it's actually not necessary to solve it either. You don't have to. It's just, it's worth it though. Still doesn't take away from the fact that I've got wraps. Oh my goodness, the leap. Are there any more? I see. Okay, just sprint, just sprint, just go, just go, just go. <laughs> oh, I need to get the orb in here maybe to stand on it or what? I can't run on the wall. It was definitely playing with fire. Oh, I forgot that sometimes you have to like, so you can't stand right up underneath it. For some reason, you can't do that, but if you come at it from an angle, it works. Let me take out some anger issues real quick. He was one of those force users. I'm scarred. I can't read anything here. I say and take it serious. No. You gotta get a running start to get a better jump, which is fair. It's fair. I feel like he should still have a decent enough amount of reach. Itachi, thanks for the hydrate. And Captain and Flow Flow, guys, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Mm. Where big cats to eat the rats. Ah, oh, there's our meditation point. Okay, so we need to. Oh no, I know what we have to do, and I don't want to do it. Oh, the posture check. Cooper, what's up? Welcome back in. Uh, did you guys floppy pickle tell me what you're supposed to do to get it? J boy, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, nope. A swing and a miss. I think I need to. Oh, what about the force? Okay, to pause it, but I need to use the force. I got it. Use the force first to stop right there. Use this. Grab onto it. Uh, 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 uh. Try again. Rinse and repeat. The no you, the stretch. You just did this dungeon last night. Oh, you're replaying through it right now, babe? Nice ghost. Okay, good. I've got school today because it's 12. <laughs> Go to bed. Some of you guys stay up so late. I say that now. I still can't get back from my, like my Alaska time. I'm still staying up until like one in the morning. Maybe, maybe I don't even have to do it like this. Maybe just keep it right there. I bet that's better. Hold on, it's gonna go away. Use the force right there. Go ahead and press this. I'm not going to say what you, no. I have the right method. I just don't think I'm grabbing it. Maybe I need to get more of a, Running start. Nope. It's gotta be the other way. Like, wait to turn it on. Deldridge, it's been a while, okay? Mm. Can I use the force again to slow it down? While it's still up here? Maybe. Chosen, thanks for the follow, welcome in. 
Yeah, they were saying that there's even more customization. All right, let me just make sure I have everything that I need. We've got that there. This. It'll swing back further if I pause it up there. Like if I pause it right there, right? Shouldn't it come back? Like even if I turned. Let me just try where I can grab it to begin with. Like if I pause it right here, can I actually grip? Yeah. What if you don't even need to use the wind? <sighs> Why is the wind there? Why is the wind there? <laughs> Why is the wind always there? Makes no sense. Oh, it's for something. It has to be for something else, right? It's got to be for something else. <laughs> Why is the wind always gone? The wind made it move to begin with. Oh, did I still have the wind using the momentum? Oh, so even when I paused it in that mid spot, it still had more momentum than it normally would because the wind did help it. It was sitting there at rest. Gotcha. So once you had it moving, you were fine. Really overthought that one. Really overthought that one. All right, let's see. Mm hmm. To make you suffer. <laughs> Improv, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. It's so like, I mean, you guys, especially Deldridge, you should know better. Like anybody that's been here for a while, you know that like the simplest things are the things I overthink the most. So I kind of like this overhead slash leaping attack twice and Ernie with the gifted sub to Laguna and also to Nox. Guys, thank you. And I hope you all enjoy the sub and the emotes and Magpie. Thanks for the follow. You just climbed up it. You didn't even have to use it. How'd you climb up it? How is that even possible? Hmm. Empowered slow. I would say superior blocking. Cal's defenses are improved, allowing him to take less. Yeah, let's go with defensive blocking because I have to get more proficient at that. Whoa, Julesy, thank you so much for six months. A subscription, is that for six months? That's definitely not the six month, right? Thank you so much and I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community and also Monkey Man, welcome back in. Holy cow, thank you. Maybe that's the perk of easy mode. The perk of easy mode is you don't overthink things. Is that it? Or you just have to walk up. You can just jump up on it. Oh, this is with all of these two. You know, I'm going to overthink this entire section. Mm-hmm. We're going to overthink the entire thing. But with that, guys, please return your trays to the upright position and get ready because we are about to jet off. Um, this is a good stopping point. We're around the five hour mark and I do have I have uh, my friend's dinner to get to as well. It's been five hours, It's five hours and I'll be back tomorrow. And I also I at this rate, we're going to blast past this before the new one even comes out. And what are we going to play in between? Don't answer that. What are we going to play in between? All right, guys, let's go find somebody to raid. Let me see who's on. Whoa, why is it using that? Mm, OK, that makes sense. Um, yes, guys, thank you so much for all of the support. There were so many new faces and follows and just already. Wait, I, I think my thing's catching up for whatever reason. But just thank you guys so much for all the support. And as always, for your time more than anything, I will be back on tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be playing the same game, 4 p.m. Eastern. I will let you guys know the schedule as soon as I get off before I go off to dinner. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new here, please check out the Discord. I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you ever want to catch up on any of my previous streams, I have a VOD channel. And then I also do exclusive content on YouTube as well. Um, I saw you said that Jess is on. Let me see. Really? She's not. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's playing Spectator. I'm not familiar with that game. Um, oh, man. OK, let's see. Mm, I know we were saying that. I know she's doing that. We have raided her more recently. I want to re-raid Cheebs. I feel like the last time we raided her, she had to jet off because her dog was um, having having a time of their life. And so I know that she had to 
Jet off. So I want to give you guys another chance to get to know her before she just pieces out like that. But she's also playing Bloodborne. So if you guys like this game, you like the Souls Combat, please go check out Cheebs. She's a variety streamer as well. Um, and yeah, it has adorable puppers. And I've, I've just wanted to raid her for a little bit. And the last time, I realized it was such awkward timing. Um, but yes, please go check her out. Guys, thank you for all of the support. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, if you are new here, I full-time stream Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And there's the outro. That's what we were missing. <laughs> thank you so much. I, did I just thank you instead of roll my eyes? Navi, good night. Back, thank you for the follow, random hero. All of you guys, thank you for the gifted subs. The new subs, the new follows, all of the support. I will see you guys tomorrow for a fantastic overall Monday. If you guys are new here, overalls are the thing on Mondays. We love Mondays. I bring you guys a lot of energy, probably more than you guys want, but hopefully it helps make the day a little bit more cheerful. Big J, good night. TDK, good night. Itachi, good night. Jack, good night. I see Spazzy. I know, I didn't even roll my eye. Panda, good night. Benji, Nick, good night as well. Unexempt, keep it mellow. Anybody that's locked out because the verified only, I'm sorry, but thank you for being here. I hope you guys have a good night. J Rocks, Ernie with the gifted subs. Guys, it's gonna kick me. I love y'all so much. I will see you. Bye. Tiger Stripe, Ernie.